subscribe. Thank you for the follow, guys. I will be switching over to camera scene in a couple seconds. Good morning, happy Thursday. Uh, how is everybody doing? Hopefully you're all having a great start to the day today. I know the weekend is almost upon us yet again. These weeks have been flying by like crazy. <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, guys, a little tickle in my throat. I was just finishing breakfast. So on today's stream, we got a nice little deal stream for you guys with a bunch of crazy deals. But on top of that, I'm going to be doing a giveaway today. Uh, with that giveaway, I'm going to be doing a mystery box giveaway. So we will be posting a link for you guys to enter that, of course. On top of that, we also have a giveaway going on for a jump starter for your car. If you guys need one of those, uh, we got a nice little giveaway for that. Guys, from my iMazing, it's a 20, 2000 amp portable car jump starter power bank. You can actually charge your phones or other devices. Then, of course, on top of that, we have the Gigabyte G5 GD gaming laptop for $800, your choice, uh, going on also. So make sure to enter that, guys. And, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> So today we're going to start off with some products that I highly recommend, and that is from Govi. Uh, guys, Govi makes some very, very phenomenal lighting. This kit is for your outdoor uh, walkways and stuff like that. Uh, our glorious uh, Justin did this video for us. Uh, good morning, Darian. Um, how you doing? Uh, giveaways. Mystery box giveaway today. <laughs> We're going to swap scenes, guys. We're going to play this little video right here. This is from Govi, guys. Govi makes a really, really great one. I can't complain. I mean, I'm awake. <laughs> I'm here unboxing and showcasing the Govi Allure Smart Ground Lights. Now, what these are is these little tight LED lights that you stick Good morning, into Nelson. the ground. And they provide like an illuminated pathway, which are great for like surrounding driveways or decorating your garden or just making landscape accents because you can really do a lot hey, of things and they're fairly long. As you can see, they have the little groove on the bottom where you would put in the landscape spike or the little spike on the bottom that goes in the ground. You get a lot of wiring there. It's extremely long. You get a control box to manually control it. It also pairs with the Globy app via Bluetooth on your phone. So that way you can control the various light patterns on your phone, which we'll showcase later as well. So the first thing you got to do is obviously unwrap. How are you guys wire. doing? Awaken life. Yeah. Twist ties. I can't ask for more. I mean, I could, but then you're going to want to, I mean, it, it's not a bad day of the Govi <laughs> lights. So that's going to take some time. Let me show you how these go on. You take each I actually ate breakfast this morning. Though. Up these so. snap Payback. Points. Thanks for the follow. These spikes. I appreciate that. Snap points. So you line up the snap points and then you just press firmly until they snap into place. Once they snap into place, they're nice and secure and they're snug. So you could just stake them in the ground. Obviously you need to stake them in soft ground. Now, after pairing the ground lights with the Govi app, you could see through all the different color patterns. Just I how love these really lighting bright set. And this is awesome. These RGB lights are. And Govi makes fantastic lights. Their lights are always such top notch and high quality. You they really choose, are. Like, the fire setting, which is kind of like rolling fire. You could choose blue and white. You could choose starry night so many different color patterns you could change the color of each individual light to be whatever you want or you could cycle through all the patterns everything from fire to fireworks to pulsing lights that kind of like flash and then go solid like this one which is really unique i just started playing around with all the color patterns and there's just so many different color patterns to choose from besides the fact that you create your own you could do various strobe effects with the lights you could do party mode but this would obviously annoy your neighbors imagine having all these ground lights you can see how bright they are imagine having your driveway constantly lit up but it's great for the holidays Maybe i just want to be that neighbor all sorts of like halloween <laughs> colors or christmas colors or fireworks in the summer there's all sorts of crazy things you could do with these 
with these driveway lights or these ground lights from Gobi. You can see I lined my driveway where the grass comes up against my driveway, and they just make like nice little landing strips almost for my car to drive in the driveway. It follows the landing strips up. So I ended up testing out all the different colors, and then I wanted to see what it looked like with classic white next to my white Tesla Model 3 as well. So again, the Gobi light strips, the Gobi ground lights, the smart ground lights are really incredible, highly recommended, so vibrant. There's so many things you could do with them from decorating plants decorating landscaping or even just lining your driveways now guys i'm going to say a few things about goby if you you get the goby products of course they work without the app but i'm telling you if you connect that app it does so much more it's just phenomenally done and the cool thing is is goby really thought about it and they put the app for all their products into one app so it's not like you need 20 different apps to run 20 different lights or even a meat thermometer and yes they do have make meat thermometers they make a whole a bunch of different like house products and stuff that all can run off the same app which is really really great to have one app to run it all it's almost like you know uh you know one dragon to run the whole place something like that but it's just, Gobi really does a great job. And they are just very, very bright, very phenomenally done. And as you can see, it lights up the driveway quite well. And, you know, Justin is a little worried what his neighbors think about that lighting. But I would let that stuff go and be like, look, it's my house. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I really love the lighting. So, guys, uh, for those just popping in, we are doing a deal stream, give, uh, deal stream today. But we're doing a mystery box giveaway. So make sure to enter that mystery box giveaway, and I'll post those links one last time right there. So I am doing a mystery box. You will have to have your address uh, on top of that. But on to the next product, of course, guys, is from another company that we actually really uh, have fun in doing and enjoy testing, and that's from Yuffie. If you guys don't know who Yuffie is, uh, their parent company is Anchor, and uh, you probably would know that name. Uh, it's very well known. But they make some very, very phenomenal products. The first one up is actually a Eufy Baby uh, security camera setup. So we're going to show you guys that video right now. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel oh, with Dragon Blood is getting ready for the kids. Today, I am super excited to showcase to you guys the Space View Baby Monitor Pro by Eufy. So this is a very, very easy to set up and use baby monitor by a company that makes very high quality products. So I am expecting this thing to work very well. Getting this thing was super easy to set up. All you had to do was basically just plug in both the camera and the base right here and then just go through the on-screen pairing options. And as you can see, it is paired and it's actually very, very responsive with how fast it is responding to what the camera is actually seeing and reporting back to the base. You do have a ton of motion control right here on the unit itself. So you're going to have up to 330 degrees of horizontal rotation, which is absolutely crazy. So if you have a toddler, for example, you're definitely gonna be able to see what they're doing all throughout the room. And then you're also going to have a crazy it's amount cool. of vertical leg room. So you can I see like that where your kid is at or your baby. Just see what anybody is doing with this camera. This little setup right here is actually very simple and very nice. So let's go ahead and just log into the settings right here. You have a ton of options built in. So you're gonna have a brightness setting right here. Scrolling down, you're going to have your voice mode, which is going to allow you to hear from the camera and also speak through the camera. You're going to have sound alerts for movement. You're going to have different sounds that you can play through it. Cool. Camera zooms, you can add multiple cameras to this setup. You can delete the cameras. You're going to have night vision mode. You can do time sets, anti-screen awesome. flicker. You can change the language. There's different temperature units. There's a whole bunch of different built-in features with this simple to use setup. So continuing on, you're going to see right here that this is plugged in currently, but you do not have to have this plugged in constantly. You can let it charge up and then just kind of walk around the house with the screen in your hand. And you're also able to mount this to the wall with the included wall mount adapter so now what i want to do is i want to go ahead and turn off the light so i can show you the night vision mode because i was actually very impressed with this coming in at 720p you could expect it to be a little bit higher but for the price point and the simplicity of this the 
IRs on this actually works very bad. well at producing that night vision effect. Well, I can't even really say effect. I mean, it's true night vision, as you can see right here. So even at night, you'll definitely be able to check up on your loved ones with this. And I have a baby on the way, so I'm super excited to already have something like this in my collection. So yeah, guys, this is just a quick review and overview of the Eufy Space View Pro. Oh, man. Old this beach. thing, honestly, is very, very good. If you guys have been looking for a new baby camera, I highly recommend this one, and I'll see you on the next video. Now, the one thing I will mention, though, is, guys, you do have to use the actual piece that it comes with. It does not have the phone app like most of the Eufy or Anchor products. <laughs> so that is one thing to mention, guys. But as you can see, a nice little product, nice little setup right there. Very well done. Next up is another Eufy product. This is actually their uh, Security Smart Lock uh, for the doors. And I believe Nikita did this video for us. So I'm going to show you guys this. If I can grab the right video. I did, I did. So here I've just recently installed my latest and greatest Eufy security door lock. I absolutely love the Eufy security uh, smart lock that I have in my back door and now I have one for my front door. So this one's a little different from my other one whereas the other one has Wi-Fi built in. This one has uh, a Wi-Fi bridge that it comes with and it's over here and you have to make sure you set it up through the device but it's super easy to set up and basically that thing connects to Wi-Fi which connects to your lock via Bluetooth and then you're able to use it with the app. So I'm just going to show you some cool features. So let me go ahead and open it. Oh, it's locked. Go ahead and unlock it manually and show you guys from the outside. Go ahead and open it. Oh, it's locked. So <laughs> you're able to use a little, an actual key. You just take this off and then you can put the physical key in there if you want to. You can also use a code, which I have preset, but I don't want to show you guys what my code is <laughs> just for security reasons. And oh, then, come on, course, man. You can change that. that. I can just simply use. And now it's locked it, as you can see. And then I just put my thumbprint back on there to unlock it. And boom, I can get back in. Now, I, I and you guys it. saw Obi. It's, it was so Obi's like, who's at the door? It took about 15 minutes. Uh, I didn't even have to replace the little guard on the inside of my door because the one that was with my previous lock worked. But I did have to install the Eufy style deadbolt and then, of course, both sides of the actual lock itself. And it was super easy. Now, one thing that I love about the Eufy security system as a whole is the Eufy security app. So as you can see, this is the Wi-Fi bridge. Now, like I said with the Govi guys, Eufy does pretty much the same thing with their app. Guys, it's an all-in-one for a lot of their products. So a majority of their products only uses one app. You just go in there, you connect your devices. As he shows you guys, he has the front door, the front door lock, the, uh, the back door, and then he has the home base. You guys can connect up cameras to this app. It, it, it's just an all-in-one app and it's really great bridge that I have which allows me to use my door when I'm away from home because it connects to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth but as you can see the front door is unlocked and we can double check right here that it's unlocked now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the actual app and all you have to do is drag down to lock so I'm gonna drag it down you can see drag down and release and then it locks on its, it's own. Locked. Now, what's really cool is, as you can see, I got a notification up here that says the, the front door has been locked. Now, what that's what I think is also cool is that you can see all of the events that happen from your actual device. So you can kind of keep track and have timestamps of what's going on. What's also really cool is that you can set up different users to use it. Um, so if you have people that you, you know, trust or, you know, you're living with someone, you can add their profile, trust. add their fingerprint and stuff so that they can use the lock also, which I just think is an absolute. Or guys, if you're on vacation, you need someone to come in and check your mail, feed your pet, whatever, you give them a code for while you're gone. Then once you get back, get rid of that code and you're good to go. Guys, that is the first one. Now we're going to show you guys a different version from their. This is a little uh, cheaper. The first one's about $188. This next one is about $89 today. So it's a better deal, but it might not have as much features as the other. Grab that video and play it. So I've got my new Eufy security door lock. Um, I'm, it's in the box right now. Mm -hmm. I'm basically just taking it's it out, kind of showing you everything. And then I'm going to uh, set it up so you can see what it looks like. But it has these really convenient steps that Excuse are listed me. on the actual packaging. Video. Be careful. These are kind of heavy. Um, 
but on here as you can see it says step three and five and it shows the two main locking mechanisms um, so I'm gonna set this over here and then if you look in the box the other stuff has step one two four five and six so I'm going to follow the instructions get all this stuff installed For people like me you don't need to read all the features they got of pictures cool new security system so I've got my Ufi uh, security system installed now. I am absolutely in love with it and how the uh, the deadbolt works. So what's really cool about it first off is that um, you connect it to the app and you can do so much from the app. So I'm gonna show you that first. I'm gonna close the door and then on the phone, I show you, you pull down to lock. And then- So just like the last one, the app runs it guys. You can set up codes. It does do push notifications. Can actually tell you if somebody attempted to uh, open the lock with the wrong code and all of that good stuff, guys. Eufy did their self justice when they made these products with the app. I'm telling you, it's really cool. And if it kind of dies, it does have a battery. You can recharge it or if you need to, plug into it with the power bank. It's powered up to unlock that deadbolt. Uh, you guys, just remember, you do need to watch that battery life on these because it is electric. Um, but if not, they do come with the separate keys that you can slide in, twist and turn, and you're on your go to get on inside your house or to leave. So, Eufy, guys, great products, great little uh, installment of tools. And actually, if you can see it, it probably only takes you about 10 minutes to install it on your door. It may take you, you know, maybe five to 10 minutes to install the app total and register it. And then learning the app shouldn't take you long at all. I mean, they're pretty easy. What do we got next? Oh, some portable monitors. Uh, next up is the KYY portable 15.6 inch monitor. Now we're gonna show you guys two monitors coming up. The first one is actually a full HD monitor. Now this is just a 15.6 inch monitor and it's at about $151. The next one guys is a full 4K OLED. Uh, you're gonna love this thing. So the first one we're gonna show you from KYY. Here we have is the KYY 15.6 inch 1080p portable monitor. The packaging was really well done. It was completely plastic sealed as well as placed nicely in a box that featured all of its specifications. Being that it only weighs 1.7 pounds and is 0.3 inches slim, it was really lightweight and came with all the accessories I needed to get started. It came with a screen protector, a power adapter, as well as it had plastic wrapping around the portable monitor that was already encased in its magnetic cover. Hey, that's cool. Mine didn't As you do can that. see, the magnetic cover fits it perfectly and is really easy to move, adjust, and fit the viewing preference that you are looking for. Inside it, you have all the cables you need from the USB-C to USB-A cable, USB-C to USB-C cable, a mini HDMI to HDMI cable, and everything is just there so you can use it on a multitude of different devices. Having all of these output cables really allows you to maximize how you use this monitor. You can decide if you wanna use it as a second monitor or even to just expand your workspace. You can connect your... Now, the one thing that we'll talk about, since it is a portable monitor, you guys do see that KYY does come with a screen protector. Uh, that screen protector is really up to you, but if you plan on using it actually as a portable and taking it places, I do recommend putting that screen protector on there so you don't actually crack the screen. Now, if you're going to leave it on your desk at permanently, you may not need to do that, but, you know, they do give it to you for that option. to it if you wanted to use a bigger screen, as long as it has a full functioning... I might need to turn my AC up. ...then you can Sad. use that. Otherwise, you'll need an adapter for I'm it. I am going to... As well as you can use it for gaming. It has a 60 hertz fresh rate, so you can game without it lagging or glitching and just have a real nice seamless experience. Taking a closer look at this monitor, on the side you can see that there is a volume wheel that is also used as a mouse when the monitor is on. Alright everybody, we're going to take a nap, a wake me up in 20. And a headphone jack, <laughs> as well as on the other side you have all the different ports for your cables. The case itself is made from P. Now let's leather. talk about that, guys. So they do come with all the ports on one side, but the other side does have 
the volume knob and the power button. Now I'm going to point this out a little. They tell you you can use these in horizontal or portrait mode. Uh, if you use it in like you know standing it up on in long ways, the cords or the control or the buttons may get in the way of actually doing that. So you may need actual uh, like a little stand or a clamp for that. Uh, good morning, Jeff. It is scratch proof and magnetic, and it does have two different grooves. So is you the can party starting the now? Of your Do I not need to take a nap? <laughs> Being that it is a three to one mode laptop monitor, I decided to connect it. And even though I could use it as oh, it's so my bright, I need monitor, sunglasses I for the stream. Have three monitors I use, <laughs> so I decided to add it as my fourth. And with its FHD IPS display and contrast ratio of a thousand to one, it really does offer a competitive viewing experience. Being that it does have two built-in speakers, you can listen to music from the monitor. Now, the speakers aren't that loud, but they are enough to you can hear it and you can play with it. If you guys are looking for something a little louder, maybe put some headphones on or connect it to a different system. But if you're using it for portable for like a Nintendo Switch or maybe you guys are going on vacation and you want the kids to have their own little monitor to play their games while you, so the adults watch TV or, to, you know, do other stuff, this is a good option. Now, the next one up, guys, is from Innocent. Innocent just is, th this one's crazy. This is a full 1080p 15.6, or not 1080p, this is full 4K. 15.6 uh, inch monitor it is full full. OLED. It, guys, this thing is just the coloration, the brightness is just that much more. And as you guys can see right here, I don't even need to go any farther. That coloration is just phenomenal. Now, it gets even brighter. Video does not do this little monitor justice whatsoever. Now, this one costs a little more because it is literally, you know, it's 4K. Let, let's talk about that. So we have the, you know, we have the, I believe it's a uh, hundred thousand to one contrast ratio. Uh, I'm doing this off the top of my head, guys. It's also a hundred percent DCI P3. Um, if I remember right, I'm trying to remember, guys. It's so it's 4K, 3840 by 2160p. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, 1.07 billion, I believe, coloration. Good. If I'm not doing this off the top of my head, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but full L O L E D 4K. It's just, just phenomenal. I, it's just, it's crazy to have that option. And you know, like you said, it's a touch screen. So this one actually, you can touch it and everything. It's just crazy. Now that's why you have that little price jump. If you don't need the touch screen or the full L L E D full 4K option, the other one may be the one for you. Now, Innocent also makes a second one that's actually still a 1080p OLED, uh, 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio, still has the USB-C uh, plugs, still has the mini HDMI plugs. Uh, guys, but this portable monitor is just phenomenal. I mean, I'm telling you, if you want something that's just mind-blowing, the Innocent did a great job with this portable monitor. I really, really love it. It's just a great monitor. So it does come with the magnetic case or the hard shell style case that needs to fold up to make it as a stand. Uh, the difference in this is, is all the plugs are on one side and the power and volume is on an opposite side. The whole other side on this one is not used, which is kind of cool to have that option so you can set it up on end and use it as a, you know, a, a chat screen or whatever you really want to use it for. Now, a couple things I will point out, though, is, guys, it's a, it's a portable monitor. You want to make sure you put your monitor uh, screen protector on there because it's like a phone. If you drop it, it's going to crack. So, And it's still at 60 hertz, guys. So it does have the 60 hertz in there. It's, you know, ultra light. This is under, like, 2 pounds. So it is just, like, super, super bright. I believe it's a uh, one millisecond uh, refreshed. So if you guys want the one millisecond, so you don't have no lag, 
Uh, the non-touch, yeah, so the non-touch is on sale also. Uh, like Darian said, it's $249 uh, with a $100 coupon, which is cool. Oh, it's got a $100. So it's got a $100 coupon on top of that. So it's, you know, it's crazy. It's got a built-in 5,000 uh, milliamp uh, built-in battery. So it makes it, this one's truly portable, guys. You don't need a power source. It's rechargeable. So the 4K is fully rechargeable. It has the 5,000 milliamp battery, so you don't have to power have power plugs. I mean, think about that. You could use it as a drawing tablet. You can use it as, you know, all kinds of stuff. It, it is 10 bit. So, hey, Boston butterfly. But guys, I'm telling you, Innocent Innocent did wonders with this product. So I actually have the 1080p version of LED. I would love to try the touchscreen one. I think that one would be pretty phenomenal to have. Um, I would probably use it for messing around with Amazon chat stuff or something. I don't know. A whole bunch of stuff. Maybe start doing some art. Uh, good morning, Boston Butterfly. Now, let's mention this, guys. I am doing a mystery box giveaway today, so make sure to enter that. Uh, on top of that, we do have our other two giveaways going on, which most of you already know about. Uh, good morning, Alley Cat. Uh, yeah, so it is Mystery Box Day. Let's see, what do we got up next? Uh, the upgraded Hummix phone case. Now, this, I believe, is for the iPhone. And it is. Ho, 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 ho. iPhone 13 mini. So this has got to be one of the most amazing Hummix cases that I've had to date. Hey, this Phil. is a really nice, sleek, black, it's and just me right now. gray, slim case. Hey, Justin's probably listening in, laughing at me for back, stumbling, how it looks uh, making anything. fun of me for how and tired I look. Especially yeah. that it has a little kind of graded design on them. And I'm uh, just going to go ahead and slide my phone in here. But first, always, I just want to say always this, always so, this is a nice glass protector. It is an insulation sleep. toolkit for the glass protector and the uh, protector for the camera. Now, I currently already have them on. Um, this stream is not sponsored by KitKat phone, Duos. So this is if you need a KitKat, grab a Duo. It's got a nice... Um, even cover for it. It comes out a little bit, but it's really nice. Uh, and it doesn't cover the light for the camera. And then I have the glass cover on top too. So I just get that extra protection. And what's cool is that it comes with two. So I have the one that's on my phone. And then I have two waiting just in case, you know, I, I actually drop my oh. phone. And I, I have to, uh, you know, replace them. But as you can see, I need to wake up. it fits in my phone just fine. Uh, it looks really nice. I like the fact that even though it comes with the guard for the I like camera, the bump outs. The actual case itself still has a lifted rim. So you get even more protection for the camera, which is one of the best selling points of the phone. And it just looks absolutely Almost converted. fantastic. Almost bought an Apple. I love this. Thank you so much, Hummix, for making such an amazing case and for thinking about your consumer by giving us not only one, but two screen protectors and two camera protectors. So that's something that's super awesome. So guys, great little phone case for the iPhone 13 mini, which if you need it, guys, it's like $17. <clears throat> As I sit here and cough, I don't know what it is or why I'm coughing today. It's like I was uh, licking pollen. Yeah, so funny thing is, is ever since Justin got uh, sent me this bad boy to use for chat, I've noticed that it actually works better than my Android phone on my car. And it's smoother. I don't know what it is. It's, you know, don't get me wrong. The Samsung S21 is a great phone. But... I see why certain people switch over to iPhone and back and forth all the time. What do we got next? Oh, we got the laser engraver that Nate did. Anybody need a laser engraver? Oh, man. Let's find that video. The Aerofo 2.0 laser engraver, guys. This is actually a really cool laser engraver if you have not seen this. Show you guys Yo, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today yeah, I am super you. excited to showcase to you the Off Arrow Laser 2 engraver. Now, guys, you are having three streams today. Me, Nate, and I believe Nikita later tonight. 
So you have a full so day. This is the LF version of the off arrow laser two, which basically stands for long focus laser. This is a more high powered version of the off arrow laser two. It comes with the air assist. And what this is going to allow you to do is cut deeper into materials. Obviously you can engrave it just as fine, but yes, yeah, so this is the LF building. This machine was actually really easy. You have these aluminum frames that all you have to do is just line up bolt together. You have to plug in the stepper motors. They're already basically installed on the machine and you have to install the laser head itself so this machine does work with windows or mac and this basically is going to interface by the usb cable that plugs directly into your computer to use with laser gerbil or to use with light burn now oh. you do also have this offline connector this gerbils. is a separate model always talking about gerbils, control this without the need for a pc but that's enough about the general specs of this. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at how this machine runs and the results. So as you guys can see here, this is the start of a brand new engraving, I guess you could say. Um, so what I did is I basically wanted to choose something that had a lot of detail just to kind of test this out. Now, I am not a professional in any sense, but as you guys can see agree, right here, not. it's chugging along really well. <laughs> high powered laser. You obviously don't want to look at this directly, but since this is over just a camera, you guys should be fine to just look at this laser. This thing is actually super oh, awesome. Burns my retina. And so here are the results. I chose this little weird pattern just because it had a ton of tiny, small details. And in my opinion, this could be a lot better, but not due to the fault of the engraver, but to the settings and the user itself. But honestly, in my opinion, it did come out really, really well for one of my first successful engravings. It really did do a good job. Now, as you guys see, certain parts are a little darker than the others. There should be a little more detail. Like in those round circles, guys, on the edges of the tips of the stars, uh, it should have a star inside it. But it kind of uh, got a little too hot because he didn't have it adjusted properly, um, slightly properly. But just for his first couple times, it's really, really right. Is the mystery box giveaway? The, it is the yes. It's the only giveaway link I use is the enter live link. Yes. So that is definitely the mystery box. Yeah, yeah. That is my linky. <laughs> Next up is the undercounter refrigerator for your home. If you need a ridge, we got you covered. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I'm super excited to showcase to you this Ice Jungle Undercounter Indoor Outdoor Fridge. This thing is made very, very well. As you guys can see right here, it is all stainless steel. And on the brush handles, it has this really nice brushed stainless steel look on it. And everything about this thing just feels very, very, so very well made. Right As you guys can it. see right here, I'm going to go ahead and walk up next to this. Never this thing is nice actually stuff. a lot bigger than it might have seemed on the videos. You guys can see it's about hip height on me. And it's an almost arm's length as wide as it is and honestly now let's all point out that there is a screw laying next to this uh on the side that he should pick up off the ground i don't know what he was building honestly <laughs> this thing just fits so many drinks but let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the things that this thing has to offer now one of the unfortunate things is while i was moving this I did dent this corner right here, so definitely have help when you're moving this. This thing is not light by any means at all, so definitely just get some help when you're moving it. So taking a look at the bottom tray right here, you guys could see I was able to fit in all of these water bottles and still had tons of room to continue putting more and more drinks in there or whatever else. We'll go ahead and take a look at the top shelf right here. And you guys Excuse can me, see sir. that Load I that have some Gatorades some and some Cokes in here. And the cool thing about with the 12 ounce cans is you're able to stack these if need be. And I have the Gatorades in here and I still had a ton of more room to put more drinks or whatever I needed in there so we can go ahead and continue on and showcase to you guys some of the other awesome features that they have such as this little divider and what's really nice about these is they do send two of them for both individual trays and this just basically individual. allows you to separate drinks out however you see fit so it's really nice that they added that it's not necessarily something it really is a nice little port, uh, mini fridge guys it's good for a lot of occasions or where you want to use it now it also allows you to adjust the temperature all the way down to 32 degrees or up to, I believe, like 70-something degrees if you really want it up there. Um, you know, 
good thing about this is you can use it in your home. You can use it outside in the backyard barbecue. You can use it in the garage or just the man cave. It has many uses and, you know, it's nice and decently sized. Uh, the div drawer dividers come in really great. I love that you have the open part so it actually, you know, you have drainage down to the bottom so you can clean out very easily. The slides out good. You have plenty of space. I mean, you've seen how much water and soda and Gatorade you threw in this. But imagine you guys using it for like, you know, your barbecue feuds, uh, foods in the backyard or, you know, drinks, uh, potato salads, whatever you really want. It's a great little product. And I believe it's like one thirty one uh, $1,349 today. Uh, if I could talk. Just let me stumble all day. All right, next up, we're just going to show you guys the, the page to this one. I'm going to pop over. I'm going to grab this page. This is the Andui... And Anduino E7 Active Noise Cancelling Headphones. Now, I have done these headsets myself personally. I've done a lot of E7 headsets. Now, the noise cancelling is actually pretty cool. They are rechargeable. You get about 20 hour battery life on them. Uh, when you turn on that noise cancelling, it actually starts blocking out the background noise and makes it almost room silent. Now, if you're listening to music and you turn that on, it'll actually affect the music sound and make it sound a lot better. Now it is Bluetooth, so it will compare up with pretty much any device out there. So don't worry about that. Now, it does have a microphone built in, guys. The over-the-ear Bluetooth with mic. The mic, you know, mic is semi-decent. Uh, it works great if you're using it for phone calls. If you try to use it for like game chatting or stuff on your PC. It kind of sounds really hollow and almost echoey, but it doesn't do that with the phone, and I'm not sure why uh, it, it really had that little effect. But most people aren't going to be buying these for gaming, and I'm going to be honest with you. You're not buying this for a gaming headset. If you're buying this, you're buying this for either music, uh, voice chatting, maybe you uh, want to use them for working out or stuff like that. Music sounds very, very decent. You have... Yes. Yes. Yes, it is, man. PC Phil, yes, that is the only link that I'm using for today. <laughs> That's always the link I use. So, guys, if you don't want to use the battery to charge it all, you can plug it in with 3.5 millimeter jack, plug it in that way. It will work that way also. So you do have all of that, and it's got 45 millimeter drivers built in, guys. Uh, now, the touch sensitivity on the buttons, you know, they work what they work fine. There, there's no problem with the the, the you know using the buttons or anything, and they actually they're not bad. I mean, if you bend them, they bend right back. Um, charging them is quite easy. It takes about an hour, hour 20 minutes it took me to fully charge them uh, each time. Not a problem. And, you know, sound quality is not bad. So if you guys need one, maybe the Andui E7s is the one for you. Yeah, what do we got up next? Uh, what do we got over there? Let's see. Oh, we got the electric height adjusting desk. Now, these are kind of cool. I actually tested one from Flexi. Uh, what was it? FlexFit desk uh, back in the day. And it was kind of cool. Now, this is from a different brand. I believe Nikita did this. This is from, I believe, Siago. Yeah, Siago. Hey, everybody. So this bad boy right here is my Siago Electric Height Adjustable Standing Desk. And it's absolutely amazing. It has a lot of cool features. The first of which is the feature egg light? that you use to adjust, adjust the actual height of the <laughs> standing desk, which I'm going to show you here. So I already have some custom profiles built in where if I hit one right here, it's going to adjust it to its highest position. Now, its lowest height is 23.6 inches, and it goes all the way up to about... 49.2 inches and it will hold 240 pounds of weight it's absolutely sturdy so nikita could stand on there and dance if he really wanted the entire thing but now that it's about to reach its highest height it's going to stop right there i'm going to hit two and it's going to just down to a sort of medium setting at 100 and then uh once it gets there i'm going to show you guys basically how to program this really amazing really easy to use standing desk so i'm going to go over here to the little panel and as you can see it's at 100 and it has these two buttons on the side to adjust the height and then four buttons on the side that you use to save the profiles so i'm going to demonstrate that here so right now it's at 100 save. which is 
they use save seconds. instead of so m for memory down right here just by holding this button first. and then letting go right when i get to where i want so it's going to be 89 then i'm going to hit the s button hit the three button and that's going to save it to profile three so now that when i hit two it's going to go back up to the hundred that i had previously set it for and now when i hit the three it's going to go to the new pro profile that i just set up which it should be 89 so we're going to see that here well, what's one? So overall, this desk is absolutely <laughs> fantastic, absolutely easy to use. It has two clips on the side that you can use for headphones and all sorts of things. So if you're looking for an awesome ergonomic office desk, this is definitely the one to pick out. It's absolutely fantastic, super easy to build, and I don't know what I would do without it. This thing is absolutely fantastic and amazing. Ah, <laughs> oh, Phil. Been there, done that. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. I just want my packages to show up. So guys, the Siago is actually really cool. If you guys need one of these and you're sitting at a desk as much as I am, uh, getting up and moving around is really vital to you. Uh, you know, I probably don't get up and move around quite enough when I'm at my desk. So having a stand-up desk will actually help you get up, move around, get that blood flowing, you know, all that cool stuff. And at 247, it's actually a good deal. Decent sized, nice weight uh, capability to hold up to 240 pounds. And Coloration ain't bad. What do we got next? Oh, a new ring light. This is uh, from Sensi 10 inch ring light. Ooh, 50 inch extendable legs. That's kind of cool. This is the Sensin 10 inch ring light that has a 50 inch extendable tripod stand. I was really impressed with how everything was packaged nice. safely. Even the ring light had a thick extra durable bubble wrap to prevent it from possibly getting scratched along the way and the tripod legs had a protective plastic around it and then it was also already in the travel case itself the phone holder is spring loaded and extends up to 5.3 inches wide and it fit my iphone 13 really well and felt super now on that phone holder which she i don't know if she points out in this there's actually still the little screw holes that you can actually screw in like a separate little light or a boom mic or maybe you got like a, a road boom mic that you want to connect up. It actually has the mounts for that also. Super durable. Having the AC adapter was awesome because not only does it make it convenient using the light, but it Such actually sensitive. improves the light's brightness by 50% I like in comparison that. to other USB selfie stands the legs were easy to unlock and lock back into place it started off at 15.7 inches and it extended all the way to 50 inches long the wireless remote shutter allows you to take photos from a distance of 30 feet away and you don't even need to download an app because it uses the bluetooth on the smart device Nice. You can choose to rotate the phone holder or even the tripod ring in a 360 <gasps> motion to fit your needs. Now, now, and then guys. Use clever touch control to choose what level they are of light overworked you'd like. and underpaid. There's three different color modes: or cool, are they? white, warm, <laughs> yellow, and daylight, and ten different brightness levels. The tripod legs are super sturdy, whether closed or extended outwards. It didn't topple over when I pushed on it. At the bottom of the tripod legs is a nice grip that helps support it while standing. I do wish that the remote shutter was rechargeable, but it doesn't. I agree with her there. I'm tired of little it's watch batteries. It's wonderful that it came with a 10 inch ring light, tripod stand, phone holder, remote shutter, AC DC adapter, and a carrying bag. It was super quick to set up and just as easy to yeah. break down. Thanks for watching. The one downfall you guys will notice there is the carrying bag only works for the tripod so if you're bringing the actual ring light with you also you'll actually have to carry that separately um you know also with the full mount and you know such and such so would love to see an all-in-one bag but nice little ring light i liked all the options that I had hey wiley how you doing <laughs> whoa 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 guys Oh, what do we got? Oh, a surge protector. Maybe you guys need a surge protector today. Let's see here.
I'm here unboxing this AdTab USB outlet extender, which looked like a convenient way to extend my Wait, two it in. AC port outlets to that. add some USB ports and some additional AC power ports. So yeah, as you can see here, you get four oh, USB ports in the front, three are USB-A, one's USB-C. You get two AC outlet ports on each side for a total of four, plus one in the middle, which is five. You get your trip or circuit breaker button in the center. It plugs to one AC power outlet, but it takes up both power outlets. So let's go plug it in. Now, there is a way around that, guys. That little plastic little prong on the bottom can come off if you really, really want, but I don't suggest that. Now, a couple things I will not also suggest is using every single plug at once. Even though you could, don't overload your wires on your walls, guys. And test Just it out saying. with some items and see how it does. So I got a RoboVac. I got an iPhone charging. And That's I had a good question. In. Justin did this one, so I can actually see. Yet. You can see, see the little green light indicating that it's getting Each power. One. Works out pretty well, although I have not so, loaded it with right, five we'll plugged devices. See. So four USB ports at four point five amps total. So it's total four point five amps for the four, and then you have I uh, you can go max to two point four amps max per port, um, or if you want three amp max on the USB C. So it, it's. It's one of those little fin uh, finicky things. Yeah, so, I mean, technically, yeah, if you're using the three USBs, uh, you're getting about 1.5. The USB-C can go up to three max if it really needs. But, yeah, if you're using all four at once, you're definitely not getting the, that all that wattage. Definitely not. I was concerned that you don't want to overload it, so be careful. Just like he said. Onto it. Guys, I, I, even though they give you all them plugs... To go into your wall plug to give you, a, you know, a little bit more play, playroom. Don't overload these things. Honestly, do not overload these. Ah, no way, man. That's too much magnetic charge for me. I am already charismatic as it is. But at $12, guys, it's actually a really good deal, especially to have the, the protection... Uh, you know, maybe you just want to protect your phone while it's plugged in, or maybe you want to check, uh, protect your little tablet that's plugged in. You know, I don't suggest plugging computers into this though. Being honest with you. Good little, that's a good little product. I actually just did like four or five different search pressers the other day. Let's see here. All the Casa smart plugs. Now guys, these are cool. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with, with Dragon these. Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're going to be Shut taking a look at the TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini. This is a combo that comes with two Anybody of them, so let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at everything that comes with it. So as you guys can see right here, this is everything. Now, this is one of the smart plugs. The other one I have plugged in right over there just because I have to actually show you what it can do when it's plugged in. And then you're going to get this quick little quick start guide that is just going to show you how to get this set up. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the plug. You guys can see right here, it's a very simple design. That's There's cool. not a lot to it because all this really is is a power relay that also has a built-in Wi-Fi chip. The power button is right there on the right. This is a three-prong adapter, so just be aware of that. This is very easy to get set up. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and get the app open. I'll show you guys that in here in just a couple seconds, but yeah, very simple to get set up. So. As you guys can see that right here, I have my phone. So we've already downloaded the app and signed up. You will have to sign up and connect this app to your home Wi-Fi. It will. But once you're connected in they here, it's very me. simple to use. All you have to do is click add device, and then you are going to find what the device you're going to be adding, which is a smart plug. And then for us, we are going to choose the smart plug mini. We already did that. So we. Won't so this is the single plugs. I actually have their uh, actual... Uh, surge suppressor bar that does all this on the bar which is really cool also maybe i should throw that in the mystery box I won't do it but it's very easy to use so now that you I have it set up it all myself. you have to do is you can click on the actual smart plug itself you're going to have a power button down here at the bottom you're going to have the option to add scheduling so you can turn it on and off at certain times throughout the day you can set timers for this to either turn off or turn on 
going down here at the bottom even further, you guys can see you have this little option right here that is going to give you the ability to set different modes. And then right down here at the bottom right, if you guys can see that, you are going to have runtime data right here, which is... Now, the cool thing about these plugs is, man, if, you do, you know, if you're a big Christmas person or like, uh, like all of the holidays and like to put up lights or decorations, it's kind of cool to have this option to be able to have itself turn itself on at a certain time and back off at a certain time. I really love these plugs and they work very well. This is the single style and they're coming in like 25 bucks. They are 15 amp, so they do put power out there. So don't worry about that whatsoever. If you guys need one, maybe the cost is the one for you. Now, what should we move on to or should we mention that giveaway one more time? <laughs> maybe not. Oh, we got the Amazon Fire TV. Guys, the Amazon Fire TV is just a beautiful, beautiful TV. Now, uh, I know you guys see that big thing in the background right there. That is the Amazon Fire Omni TV. That is the 65 inch. That is the one we're showing you today. And it's like 500 bucks. When we bought it, it was more. But the cool thing about this TV is, is it has the full Fire Stick app built in. Uh, it's pretty much just a Fire TV, guys. Now, the difference between this and the regular Amazon Fire TV is this one has built-in Alexa, so you can talk to the TV. It also has the option to allow you to video chat with people by plugging in a web camera. Now, it is full 4K, but it is not an LED. Remember that, guys. It's not OLED. It's not QLED. It's just a standard LED TV, right? So... Alexa, turn TV on. She's a little slow, but there she goes. You can see that? Just like that. Guys, it has every app that you truly, truly could want built into a TV. A uh, couple other cool things is, guys, it can auto-detect uh, the style of movie you're watching. So let's say you're watching like a um, uh, cinema movie built in with all the newest, greatest sounds and quality. It will auto detect that for you. Um, it's just auto detecting, which is really cool. Uh, let's see if I can hit this over here. Grab the remote. Now it does have a remote if you guys need the remote. It has all the apps. Also has the Alexa top on it, so you can talk to it there too if you truly need. Now the settings, guys. The settings over on the side. You can do literally do channel guides inputs. You do have multiple inputs, and they do detect if it's an Xbox, a PlayStation, and other products like that, or if it's a game console, or if it's a media player. Uh, it does do all that, which is cool to have that option. Also, you guys, you can even go to live TV, and it'll give you a live TV guide, uh, which is kind of cool to have that option. Now, let's go back over here. Display mirroring, guys. You can display mirror your phone onto this. Uh, Built-in app, sleep timer, picture, sound. So the sound quality is what's really cool. You can actually adjust its sound mode. The sound mode will allow you to adjust it to music, movies, clear bass, or customizations. Uh, you guys can change the advanced settings or TV speakers on and off. Picture quality, it will tell you if it's adaptive brightness or if it's a style movie. Guys, this is a great TV, and it's just decently, decently priced and works very well and simplified. I have no problems with it. Now, like I said, it's not like you're spending a couple grand on the QLED, OLED, uh, Sony ADJ, or a TV like that. So just keep in mind, though it's bright and works well, you're not. it's not like you know it's a QLED or OLED. I have no problems with it. I actually do not hate this TV whatsoever. I think it's a true upgrade from my last TV, even when my last TV was bigger, uh, but no problems with it. Any questions? Hey, buy things. How you doing, man? Yeah, I was talking about the Amazon Fire TV. Do, 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 do. Is it nap time, guys? I need a blankie. What do we got up next? Ooh, we got the milk frother. You guys want to see a milk frother? Do, 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 do. 
Here we have the oh, Zoom Nation Milk Frother. As you can see, it looks really nice, honestly, with this little stand that it comes with. It does take two AA batteries, but it doesn't two? come with AA batteries. All you have to do is pop oh, it's not rechargeable. this little thing off in the back. Make Sad. sure you put the first battery in. You have this little string under it so that if you need Good to replace morning. them, it's easy to pull out. You don't have to struggle to pull the battery out. I didn't. I made that mistake the first time. <laughs> Um, but you, you know, don't. Now, you I know, do. Just use it as I see fit. I I miss my it, seventy five though. <laughs> and it'll start going. You know, as long as you hold it, and then once you let go, it stops. Uh, I have a little mason jar with some milk in it, and I was just gonna show you guys kind of how it works. So I'm just gonna put it in there, make sure it's not touching the bottom, and then go to town. And as you can see, it's spinning the milk. I can kind of pick it up and bring it closer so you can see it actually spinning in there and frothing up frothing you know, the middle like said, make sure it doesn't touch the bottom you don't want to mess it up or anything but it works really well as an avid coffee drinker this is something that's going to come in quite handy for me um, but as you can see it works not really me. well really easy not my thing kind of get in there and drink it coffee just frothy and stir it up as you want it to and then you just pull it out and clean as you can see there's kind of bubbles at the top because I, I didn't froth all of it completely. And then cleanup is super easy. I don't have anything to wipe it down with. Could you imagine doing that with heavy cream? Use, uh, or whipping cream? Simple paper towel to wipe it off. But as Aww. you can see, super handy to use, super easy to use. So if you're looking for a nice, handy dandy. Azuli may be the one for you. And as you guys see, he really thinks it's super. Hey, Tink, good morning. How you guys? So how's everybody's day going so far? You got anything planned, fun? I need stuff to do. I need some cool stuff to do. You know what, guys? Uh, give me one second. I'm going to actually grab something. Abby, hello. Uh, if you guys don't know, Abby is actually my nephew's uh, wife. Uh, I'm going to grab a product real quick, guys. <laughs> Are you talking about the frother? Alright guys, the next product up is from Hulkman. Let's talk about this bad boy. Guys, this is a car jump starter. This is their Hulkman Alpha 65. Uh, this is a 1200 amp car starter, guys. This will do 6.5 liter gas or 4 liter diesel engines. Uh, let's just talk about this. This thing is heavy. Not even kidding. This little thing is quite, quite heavy. Now, we're showing you the Alpha 65. I have the Alpha 85 in my hand. So it's bigger, it's better. Um, but... Does the same stuff, guys. Really. It really does. Now, the couple little differences is this one will do 8.5 liter gas engines. The Alpha 65 will do 6.5 liter. So, there's a little difference there. This will do uh, 6 liter diesel. Uh, the one we're showing you will do 4 liter diesel. Now, we're going to show you guys this. Instead of showing you guys the video, uh, if you guys need some specs, there's your specs right there off the 85. Uh, just so you know, but yeah, so this is like 43% off on the alpha 65 today guys So it is a really 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 good deal uh, Inside here you get the instruction manual guys if you need the instruction manual It is here if you don't need the instruction manual They also give you some very cool stickers for the kids to uh, play with or to stick around the house or your toolboxes in your garage Because if you have friends like me at the shops, they like to sticker bomb they're $15,000 toolboxes. Uh, I, I don't know what it is about guys in the toolboxes and sticker bombing them. But hey, they, 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 they put stickers all over them. That's what they do. Here is your device itself. We'll get back to that in one second. Uh, definitely going to get back to that. But if you guys want to charge, you can literally comes with a plug, right? This plug plugs into the jumper pack, so you can actually plug a cigarette lighter uh, product in there, maybe uh, like an air compressor or a bike pump or something that needs to actually charge, and it will charge that. So they do give you that. 
Now you can charge this device in two different ways. You can use the standard wall plug with USB, uh, USB-C uh, end plug, or you can use the USB-C to USB-A to charge it that way also. Now if you use it with this adapter, it's a fast charger. Of course, which way would you go? Fast charger, right? That's what I would do. Then you have this beautifully done little charger pack. Now guys, the charging cables are quite cool. They do come with a little plug at the end to cover your plugs. Now these are small needle nose style tips and this is kind of cool. They are marked plus and negative even though they are red and black. Most people know red is hot, black is negative. Uh, for those colorblind people, it actually shows you the plus and minus for you. Now you guys pull it apart and this is what's kind of cool. It comes with a little holder for the teeth so you don't shock yourself and stuff like that. We're going to leave that on there. But guys, they're easy, they're nice, it's simple, and it's quite cool. Now I'm going to adjust this back just like it was. The port on the other end is a dummy proof. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. It is dummy proof, but there are protections in this device, so you don't even have to worry about that. So it does have all the protections in this, and I'll try to grab this. Let's see if I can read these off the box for you guys. It has reverse charge protection, reverse polarity protection, AI software protection, overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, over load protection, uh, overcharge protection, sur short circuit protection, high temp and low temp built in. This thing, they thought about it all with this device. Now, if you guys know me, you know I like to blind people. <laughs> All right, everybody see the lights? They're flashing. All right, guys, go. <laughs> On the end is the actual plug that you will actually plug it into. Um, I, 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 I probably could, but I just, you know, I have so much power for it. There is the actual plugs that he was talking about. They're dummy proof. You can only plug it in one way, guys. So you have a square and a circle style plug. You cannot go wrong with this. On the other side, you have your other charges. You have your in and out C. You have your out USB. Now the out USB is for only charging outwards. The USB C in is for charging in and out. And then you have your round style charging cable. Now that is for your cigarette lighter. Now, it's an out plug, right? Now, here's the cool part. Turn it on. It does have an LED display right there. So this LED display is kind of cool. When you guys do this, and I'm going to just grab another cable so I don't have to unravel stuff. Once you plug this in, it will actually show on the screen So we plug this in, my phone will start saying 72% charged, but on the screen it actually tells you which direction and what is actually charging out. And it's a big bright screen. I'm telling you guys, this is super cool. Now as you can see I've been playing with it, we are down to 70 something percent. I did charge it fully and that is where we're going to kind of talk about this device guys. This device charges so fast, it's crazy. It does not take a super long time to charge this. I'm not even kidding. Now, the cool thing is once it's charged, it will literally hold the charge for over 18 months without any drain. You have the 3.2 inch screen. If I already didn't have, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I actually have the iMazing that we're giving away uh, in my closet. Um, but I also have this Hulkman. Now, I was going to keep the iMazing until I got my hands on the Hulkman. I think I'm going to keep the Hulkman, and I might throw the iMazing out. Now, like I said, guys, I'm showing you the 8.5 Hulkman. So this is the Alpha 885. The one we're showing you guys today on deal is the Alpha 65. Uh, it's just a great, great product. You know, I wish this came with a carrying case. I really do. I wish it came with a carrying case. 
This one doesn't have a carrying case. I do not see no carrying case in this box whatsoever. Now, that would have been cool to have a carrying case. I definitely agree, but they're pretty much telling you guys that this one... <gasps> I dropped my phone. Bear with me, guys. <laughs> Um, it's a bad day today. Yeah, so I dropped my phone. <laughs> yeah, I would have loved it to have a case, but I mean, honestly, guys, you can really just get your own case anywhere. Fabric store, you know, pretty much anywhere you want, you can get a case for it. Don't. It doesn't bother me. Uh, most people are... I wouldn't even worry about a case. But, yeah. I definitely think a case would be cool. But they give you this box, man. This box is so big, it's crazy. And it's super thick. It's well done. The product works great, though. That's what I'm telling you. I love the Hulkman. The Hulkman kind of reminds me of the Loki and Thor I have. So I actually have the Loki and Thor. It's also a tire compressor plus jump starter and all that good stuff. Yeah, I, you know, that's what I said. I w it would have been cool to have the case. I did not realize the case was a separate option, but the case that they do sell uh, is actually a hard shell case. Now, that's actually cool to have the hard shell case, guys. And um, let me see if I can um, see if we can grab this. One sec, everybody. Bear, bear with me. See if I can do this. If you need the hard shell case, guys, there's the link. It's twenty five bucks. Uh, it's on sale. Uh, you can, dude. It's just, it's great. Now, twenty nine dollars for the Alpha sixty five. If you need the Alpha eighty five, it's thirty five dollars for that hard shell. They also make the Hulkman Alpha 100. So there is a bigger version of these if you need that. They do have the Alpha 100. Uh, the Alpha 100 does a whole bunch more, guys. It's a 4,000 amp plus 3,200 milliamp. Plus it does, it will start minus 40 degrees. It, you know, it'll do 10 liter gas, 10 liter diesel, uh, all of that good stuff. Yeah, there's so there's there's several versions. Today we're showing you the Alpha 65, which is a smaller version. It's the same, pretty much the same size, but it does smaller engines, so it won't go to bigger engines. Then you have the Alpha 85, which will do like you know bigger motors, which is the one I have. The Alpha 85 will do, I believe, 8.5 liter uh, gas engines and six liter diesels. The Alpha 100 from Hulkman will do 10 liter gas and 10 liter diesel. If you guys have ever tried to jumpstart a diesel engine with a jumper pack, it's nearly impossible. Unless you have the proper versions. Now, any other questions? If not, hey. Do, 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 do. I lost the links to the giveaways. How dare I? Yeah, so yeah, there are definitely bigger versions out there if you need them. Let's go over here. Let's grab this. Let's pop screens. Now, next up, guys, is the Queen Air Leg Massager. I believe Nate did this. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger back again today with another video. And today we're going to be taking Plus, a look playing, I'm going to step aside, pick this up real quick. Leg Massager from Queen Air. Now, I've worked with Queen Air before, and they make great products. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how these work. I've been super excited to test these, and I finally got the chance to do these today. Unboxing, this was very simple. There's not a lot to the unboxing. Everything is very simple to understand and what everything does. Now, taking a look at this design, as you guys can see here, you've kind of got this nice nice orange yellow design and then taking a look at the controls right here you have three simple controls you're gonna have power your mode and then your intensity all, all right, very sorry about simple that guys to use. let's go ahead and show you guys how to use that 
So to get this thing yeah, ready to go, all I you dropped. have to do is simply slide your foot into this little bottom part that you can see that I'm doing here. And then you just want to latch it down as tight as possible. Obviously, you don't want to cut off circulation, but get a nice snug. Now, when he says as tight as possible, guys, don't go over super tight because definitely it's going to air up and it will over tighten too much fit on there and then you're going to do the same thing with the legs on top and once you do that make sure it fits well let's post some giveaways huh? continue and then what we're going to do now is go ahead and get the power source plugged into this and as you can see here immediately you have the power button blinking Yay! letting you know that this does have power and you're ready to get it up and going so as you guys can see it started off on mode one and intensity one we're going to go ahead and kind of increase those and just to show you guys kind of how it works it's very simple to use this and honestly one of my favorite things about this is the simplicity for a leg massager some might think that this might be a little bit difficult to use or figure out it's really not there's only three buttons and honestly the compression on this feels really really nice it would be great for people who are on their feet all day if you guys have been looking for a leg massager yes. i highly recommend this one now I do recommend these guys. Now, I'm not saying they're for everybody. Some people may not like it. Uh, you know, uh, would I do it? I've tested one just the other day, and I was actually quite impressed with the one I just tested the other day. And that's because it actually had a soft fabric feel all the way around. Some of these uh, products have a little bit itchier fabric than the others, but they work very well. And with the heating, I love the heating part. It actually, you know, with that massage and the heat, it's just great to have that option. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see here. A uh, table lamp. What? We got a table lamp. Show you guys the colors of the table I'm lamp. I'm here unboxing and then <gasps> showcasing it. the High Free Smart Table Lamp. What you get here is a small round globe table lamp that can change color temperature from like a warm orange to a bright oh. daylight, as well as go through various colors of RGB. And it That's is fine. compatible with Google Voice and Alexa. So you could basically have it in the side table in your bedroom and just tell it to change colors and do whatever mood lighting you want it to do. So as you can see here, it's a little orb with a power button on the back and it's AC plug. And you need to install the mobile app and pair it, which is the Smart Life app, which we'll take care of in a second. And let's show you how it works and how it looks. Now, after pairing with my Smart Life app and connecting it, you could see this is the various color temperatures mixing and changing between daylight, which is a very bright white color, and of yeah. course the softer temperature, which is um, you know like a, a night light, switching through blues and greens. And look at how smooth the transitions are as I slowly circle through the color palette. And you have so many different color options. It just blends through all the colors seamlessly. So you get the perfect color really that you really want that expresses the mood lighting that you want for your room. So deep purples to blues to greens to very, very bright greens. You can create very vibrant colors. You also have the ability to set various color patterns in the app as well to where it'll cycle through colors automatically, nice. which is very nice. I really, really love the color of this uh, smart LED light. I like how small it is. I really like the globe look to it as well. It's just creates a really nice mood and a nice atmosphere. You have all these colors that you can uh, set you it redeem, to. Buddy? And you can see what the, did I miss? the colors now by pressing that something. option. And you could have it go through blinking to where it blinks through the colors abruptly, or you could do it to where yeah, it's would you four is what I mean. each color like in waves and gradually fades in and out to different colors, which I particularly like better because it's more of a calm and smoothing effect instead of it having just abruptly switching colors. But again, this smart LED light is amazing. I love the color options. I like using it for various brightness settings, and it's just perfect in the bedroom. Oh, right on. Oh, I actually, I can't, so... I can see the chat, but I can't see like the loyalty stuff pop up on the chat I use. So guys, that's actually a cool little table lamp. I like that. And I love how seamlessly and how nice the colorations look when it's going through. I That's all good, man. Totally understand. Next up, guys, we have the AnyCubic Cobra Max 3D printer. Now, this is a smart 
auto printer. Now these things are very, very cool. Now we do have one, I believe uh, any cubic Cobra. Let's see here. We do, we do. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech so and Entertainment. Print, Today right? we're going to be taking a look at the Silk White PLA Filament by BB Life. You guys can see right here that it's got a plastic reel and I have it printing on my Anycubic Cobra printer. This is one of the newest printers from Anycubic. I highly recommend you checking it out. But you guys can see right here that I am printing the base to a new project that I have going. And I have had absolutely zero issues with bed adhesion on this filament. The filament just looks absolutely incredible and I really do think it's one of my favorite filaments I've ever used. So let's go ahead and switch over to the live. All right, guys, you guys just saw right there in the nice. video that I had it printing. And like I said just now, the filament just sticks like glue. I've had zero bed adhesion issues with it. So let me go ahead yeah, and show maybe you I should give away 10,000 points with this so you guys can kind of get a gauge <laughs> on how good this silk PLA white filament looks. So you guys can see right here, by far my favorite thing almost that I've ever printed in it's actually quite is cool. this honeycomb vase. If I get real close, you guys uh, can see really nice that looking. the silk PLA filament does an amazing job hiding those layer lines, and it just looks so good. The filament is absolutely amazing. Another print I did, which didn't work, and it's not the filament's fault, it's my own fault, is this Mayan Death Whistle. You guys can see right here that the filament just looks absolutely incredible. I mean, it is such a creamy looking filament and it just looks really nice. And just those layer lines, you guys can see Maybe the detail the there the is top incredible. The and then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is this little fox that I did live on my live stream yesterday. Um, honestly, there is white filament all over the place, but this silk white filament just looks incredible. So if you guys have been looking for like a it. very That's fun and very cool. easy to use with zero issue filament, I highly recommend this one and we'll see you on the next one. I hear his phone ringing in the background on the edge of that video. That was pretty cool. Guys, maybe if you need a printer, uh, maybe the Anycubic Cobra is the one for you. And I, you guys see it's like $5.99 today. $5.99 for an $800 printer. Not even kidding. Great, great deal. Hey, Darthwing. <laughs> What's the slap in the face for, huh? Is that what that is? <laughs> Next up, guys, is the X-Sense 10-year battery combination smoke detector. Let's see if I can find this video. Oh, double pad. Well, today we have the X-Sense wireless interconnect interlinked combination smoke detector and carbon monoxide alarm. So it is both your smoke detector and your carbon monoxide detector, and this is the three-pack. Hey, Ship Roman. Thanks, buddy. I'm a little I appreciate overzealous, that. and I want one in every room, so we're going to grab the six-pack. Now let's go ahead and open up one of these and see what we're dealing with, all right? Now, right off the bat on the box, carbon you can use the too. 24 of these bad nice. boys together, which is great. As mentioned, it's both smoke and carbon monoxide. Extra loud, and I love this real-time display to see, figure out where it's at. And it indicates a 10-year... You extra loud, you should see my battery. fire alarms. So at 10 years, it probably should be a... Uh, replace these. Not even kidding. Let's go ahead and get this open. And see what we got going on in here. So, this looks like my user manual, safety information, whatnot. Um, let's take a look at one of these here. All of my for that. And these so are. So, what we're showing you guys is a one pack standalone model, great. but so they do have a three pack if you box. need it. They also have a five pack and a six pack. We're going to find the wall plates. Let's take a look at these. We put in hardware. Just put this anywhere. No extra wiring required. You can slap that on any wall, ceiling, wherever you want to put it. And then these should just slide and snap right on. There we go. Oh, and that turns it on. That was unexpected. All right. So green power, <laughs> yellow fault, red alarm, move to fresh air. Calling we alarm. caught him right. off guard. Looks like it's going through its initial power up, which was slightly unexpected. 
we go. We are but powered. That makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these other ones that I haven't put together. Hey, Pants, yeah. If you look back here. This is the switch that went ahead and turned it on for me. So it's powered on right away as soon as you install it. All right. That's now we cool. can see here I've got a readout of zero for my uh, parts per million for carbon monoxide. And I guess now I need to find a way to get some carbon monoxide into here. Quick disclosure, I forgot to mention earlier. Right here printed on this frame, it says, Attention, once assembled, the doing? device can no longer be switched off. So, I should go ahead and mark down the installation date on this as the day's date. These batteries are good, as mentioned, for 10 years, and it is sealed. Once that 10-year life is up, you need to just... You need to dispose of this properly. That's a lot of you waste to me. You're going to be replacing the battery or anyway saving that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and activate the second device, and I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is supposed to be to pair. So, on. It's going to power up. Wait for that to finish. Now, while that's working on its powering up sequence, there's a couple of things I want to point out here. In the instruction manual, well, they I give you a screens. list of parts per million and some symptoms, which is great to know if you don't know how CO2 can affect you or how fast it can affect you. I'm sorry, well, it can affect you really quick. Like. All right, so we're going to make this the source and this one the search. So we're going to test the source. You ever drove in a car times. and have an exhaust leak and make you lightheaded? Yeah. And then this one twice. Now those two should be linking up here shortly. Okay. All right, so if this one goes off, hey, Margaret. this one Good should morning. go off as well. And like I said, we have to find something to test in this. And uh, I apologize. I want to take you through a quick test sequence on this. So I'm just going to press this test button. Let it go I through the show. My ringer off. This is going to be very on purpose. Oh, that's loud. I apologize, everybody. And it's running its own oh, self-diagnostics. To you guys, it is me. If everything goes back clean, you get a pass. Nice. So, guys, maybe you need one, maybe you need three, maybe you need five, maybe you need six. They do have separate packets. But $30 today for this for a peace of mind. I do recommend every home should have a smoke detector and carbon dioxide detector. Uh, honestly, you really shouldn't have a place without one. Uh, good morning, Margaret. Oh, guys, I'm going to mention it again. I am doing a mystery box giveaway today. So, you know, you got to be here to win that. But you also have to have a U.S. address. Uh, mystery box. Uh, there's a few things I know I'm going to throw in it. Um, but I have yet to plan out the full box just yet. But whoever wins it, depending on... You know who they are it may get a couple different things just depending because i have you know products that you know sometimes they're gender styles sometimes they're not you never know but definitely going to be a big box and i mean it's going to be a packed box so we're going to have some fun with that next up let's see oh we got the raptic shield for the iphone now these are really really nice cases I love Raptic. Let's see which one this is. So this is the Raptic Terran. Now, guys, I actually have a Raptic case on my Samsung phone. And I love the coloration of the Raptic case. I love it. It's really protectable. I can throw my phone and not really worry about it whatsoever because that case is protecting it. Now, I don't suggest throwing your phone like me, but hey. I mean, I don't showcasing off this amazing case by Raptic. Hey, my phone came back to me. This is for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It bounced all the way back. That was good. A lot of cool things, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a breakdown of all the features that I love most about this. So first, the camera. I love the fact that it has this little raised guard for the camera because that is one of the selling points of this phone, and having a case to protect it is just absolutely fantastic. 
Now, second, I love the fact that it has these little nubs on the button so that if you glide over while your phone is in your pocket, you know what side you're on and where the buttons are because you know Nubbies. you feel this side where it has the just the one, so you know it's the right side of your phone. And you feel this and you feel the two, then you know this is on the left side of your phone and you can hit to change the volume or maybe mute a call or something, whatever you want to use it for. The third feature that's really cool is the space that it offers for not only the lightning port and the speaker and mic, but also I for agree. the good button, spacing which, for the you know, speaker and the plug. Nothing impedes your access hey, to them, and that's something that's absolutely perfect. Another thing that I love is the design and aesthetic of this. So first off, blue is my favorite color, so I love this case. But mostly the fact that it has this semi-translucent background cover that's bordered by the transparency of, of Now, guys, that is not Scratch. That's Obi's cool dog color hair. If you want to. Just so you guys um, know. Raptic did an amazing job on this case. So if you're looking for a really awesome case for your iPhone 13 Pro Max, definitely check out the Raptor. They, really, the Raptor they really did do a good job, guys. Not even kidding. They did a great job on these cases. I love these cases, man. And the, the one thing I will mention that he probably didn't, even though it's a phone screen protect or phone protecting case, uh, if you drop it on a rock, it's still going to hit like your front screen maybe or hit your screen in the back. So I do suggest putting on a phone protector over your lenses and over the front to help stop the cracking. What else do we got? Oh, we got the Air Talk, guys. See the Air Talk air purifiers. I believe. Uh, did I do this one? Oh, let's see. No, Justin did this one. Oops, I'm showcasing no. their single room air purifier. I have it upside down right now for a reason. So when you first get this air purifier. Mystery box, guys. Hey, DH. You it up in the canister. You actually turn it upside down, unlock the canister part, and then this is the filter. Underneath the filter is the AC power. So if you first open the box, you may not know where the power cord is. They actually tuck the power cord underneath the filter inside of it. So that's something you, you just letting you know if you do get this, that the power cord's hidden in between the filter when you first open it up. So that's something to know. The other now we do mention that because there has been reports of people thinking they got an air purifier with no plug-in cord. So they are in the filter on these ones, guys. Uh, always check your air purifiers if you get them. Sometimes they do hide the cords down in the filter, just to let you know much more portable great for a bedroom or you know a large bedroom or great room could do a single dining room not a full house one like the other air talk here if is but works very well on the top yeah, you get my, the timer settings two hours house. four hours eight hours i always appreciate when they have a touch screen that there's a lock because you never know if a pet's going to put his nose outside there or gloria thank you for the follow touch the various buttons having the lock on there right on paula uh i have a big one Right over there, big white one. And you have quiet mode, and it also lets you know when the filter's dirty. We can kind of swap over real quick. Uh, if you see in front of the back PC back there, that big white thing, that is my air purifier, and it's actually not on right now. I forgot to turn it back on after recording. <laughs> Thinking about that, I gotta turn it back on. So I'm gonna plug this in, and I'm gonna show you how quiet it is in the various speed settings when it runs. Again, I run an air purifier. Man, I totally forgot room, about that. Covers the kitchen, living room. <laughs> I wish. Oh, that'd be great. Room, especially if your bedroom is down a long hallway where your large air purifier can't pull in air from rooms on the other side of the house. Tucked away right there. Be cool if my AC was connected to it, too. You heard it beep. So when I'm recording, I could just shut certain things off, turn other things on. All right. And you see, it has a nice little ambient. Uh, yeah, yeah, they they do have them that are controlled. But you can turn that light on if you want it dark. So that's nice too. Here's its loudest. I do have some new ones coming to test though, so maybe one of those. It's not as loud as a medium fan. It's not terribly loud. Not that loud at all. And then on the lowest volume or the slowest speed, pretty quiet. Can barely hear it. I can barely hear it. It's lower than a fan on low, so it's not going to cause any. Background noise. I actually like background noise when I sleep, so I'd probably have it on medium myself because I like having a hearing a fan noise when I sleep. I'm just used to it. I, I'm gonna, I laugh at that. So my wife has to sleep with a fan on. Now, if you guys have never seen one of those big metal uh, typhoon fans that like literally are metal blades, my wife sleeps with one of those on high. It's like, I don't know how she does it. Uh, possibly, I don't doubt that. Eight hours or four hours or shut off for 
two hours. So nice little app here. Uh, this is $52 bedroom. today, so yeah, it's it not a bad deal. Having a library or a study. If you're on conference calls at work, like I am, on Zoom meetings and whatnot all day, having it on the quiet mode, nobody in the background is going to hear it. Even if you don't have a noise-canceling mic, nobody's going to hear it. So it's a good option for that. So this is the AirTalk Air Pure Pro. I actually really like the color. You know, usually you get a green light. B42's line in the house. Good morning, guys. This is like a really nice light. How's everybody color. doing on B42? It's a really so if you guys need one, AirTalk is actually a great deal. Now, I did their dual kit. Uh, their dual kit was actually quite cool. And actually, the dual kit I did had uh, little uh, sense pads that you could put aroma oils on it. I can't play and doing pretty good. I mean, I'm a little tired. I did eat breakfast today, though, so I'm good there. <laughs> uh, didn't eat a lot, but I ate something. And if you guys were wondering, this th this stream is not sponsored by Kit Kat. I just like Kit Kat. Uh, Kit Kat duos. Uh, guys, want some chocolate? Anybody? Ugh, coffee? What? I don't drink caffeine. I drink Mountain Dew rarely, and when I do, I crash. I'm a tw yeah. I Twix too. I I, I I I'm a. I'll eat all candy, as long as it doesn't have nuts in it. <laughs> I will eat candy. Uh, but this is just. Uh, have you tried these, Phil? The mint one, man. The Kit Kit Kat Dual Mints are really really good. No, I don't like Almond Joy, but I do love a Mounds Bar. Yeah. I, Snickers. No, so I can't eat nuts and seeds. I, I physically cannot eat them. If I eat them, I get sick, so I can't eat nuts and seeds. I, I do I do love nuts and seeds. I like to... I Don't get me wrong. If I could eat them, I would eat them. I just... Diverticulitis tells me I can't eat them. <laughs> yeah, I am already. In, yeah, I agree, Phil. Yeah, I agree. Ah, oh, man. Hey, you know, that's the worst part. So, I like making Mexican food, right? So, I have to literally strain out all of my uh, jalapenos I eat. All, I have to pull the seeds out of all of that stuff. Even when I make enchilada sauce, I have to get rid of the seeds, which I disapprove of because I like the heat. The key lime, no, I have not tried the key lime. Uh. Yeah, so, no, it's it's the, they don't break down. They don't break down enough. So, diverticulitis is like, leaves little pockets in your uh, digestive tract. Where stuff can get stuck in and then get infected and stuff like that. So I can't eat certain things that don't break down quick enough. Like, you know, corn, can't eat corn, uh, seeds. It's, it really took away stuff I really love. I <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, next up is the Toshiba, guys. So this next up is the Toshiba 7-in-1 countertop microwave. Now it is more than just a microwave. And it's more than just anything because if you guys looked over, there's a stack of microwaves sitting here. Toshiba's. Now, if I could literally ship one of these out, I would physically ship them out as a mystery box itself, but it would cost too much, guys. So I have a stack of microwaves. <laughs> That's pop. I'm going to show you guys this. You're going to love this, guys. Not this one, but I do have one coming that can. And it also has a phone app and everything else from Toshiba. So I do have another one coming that does all that. What well, can control it by voice activation and stuff. So, guys, this is more than just a microwave, though. This is actually a, it's an oven. It's a, an air fryer. It's a broiler. It does all of this in one. I was blown away by the amount of stuff that this little thing can do. James here. Today we'll take a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Toshiba. This is their actual 7-in-1 uh, microwave. Now, 7-in-1, yes. It's not just a microwave, guys. So this is called the Origin Inverter. So what this does is this can actually air fry. It can bake. 
it can broil all of that good stuff all at once. It can do multiple pieces, including in combination, combination too. cooking and all of that. Now, some cool stuff. It is a brush, brushed, like brushed black aluminum fronting uh, with the black coat. Hey, kind of, yeah. This kit, of course, if you open it up, you get the normal glass tray that stays in there, guys. That's for the microwave. We'll talk about a few things coming up, though. You get a low metal rack. Now, this metal rack can only be used when you're baking and broiling. You also get a higher metal rack, which can also be used when baking and broiling, guys. You just put it in there and you make sure it's on the glass itself and you're good to go. Then you get the air frying tray to cook with. Of course, the guys, just, you know, bake and broil with this or air fry. Don't use this when you're using the combination or the microwave yeah, don't, just don't. by itself. Uh, microwaves, of course, can't use metal. Then you have the metal baking. So I don't technically know how it all truly, truly works because you do have an oven in there, guys. You have the microwave. You have the air fryer. So there is an element in there. I, 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 but you can't use the metal while you're microwaving. It's just one of them things. Right. It's like, now, this wow. This is good for baking like little cakes or even baking some chicken or meats. Or Justin stuff like wants that. me so to test this out. Have all of that. Now, I'm going to set this stuff aside. I, I, I question it. This, unfortunately. I almost wanted to now, stick some metal in there and hit microwave. <laughs> you hit a nice large cookbook. Guys, this cookbook will tell you everything you need inside how to cook. This uh, cookbook's stuff, really, really cool, stuff. though. And it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. It tells you how the ingredients, the instructions, and shows you what to use, how to uh. use it, and when to use it. Now, up here, guys, this is where you have pre-programmed menu displays and portions, guys. If you need this, they have you. Um, foods, defrost by weight, defrost uh, menus, and frozen fries, frozen chicken. Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. Over here, you have your digital. My luck, it would catch now, fire and I'd be messed up. at a time if you want. Or, you know, you have echo mode. Echo mode will put you in, um, echo mode will put you in 50% power. It'll also shut the lighting off, um, guys, if you need. Now, you can also shut off the beep button if you really need. It does work that way. You can adjust. Now, the two microwaves I have sitting here are cool. You can actually shut those beeps off. I love it. Take it outside. I'm on the fourth uh, floor. A1, A2. Just like that, guys, if you really need. So you can adjust that way. Now, to do this, just 4 ounce, say 8 ounce, 12 ounce, pour oh, So yeah. if you want power, let's open that back up, right? And we'll close this. Reset it with echo mode. We'll go power mode. We have power 1 to 100, all the way down to 10% power, guys. Now, if you guys want, we'll clear that out. Yeah, let's we'll cook it at 10% power for H01. three hours, sir. So you HO2, HO3, HO4, HO5, 6, Plus seven, that's Jack eight, yeah. and 10. You know, that's actually, I don't have those, though. Combi mode. See, Nate got all those. I don't have one. It has the little baking fan symbols. Uh, we hit that again. Guys, so I did test out popcorn in this, and actually popcorn cooks really quick. Even in the other one that I have here, the other one here actually has moisture sensor built in. So if the, the moisture gets too low, it will actually, it will shut off itself, which is kind of cool that it does that. Now, this one, since it can, it can bake a cake, it can air fry chicken, it can do all of that, guys. So you have all of these options in this and all in one. It's actually a really nice looking uh, thing. Now, I miss the number pads of being able to set my own uh, amount of time separately. Now, the one back here actually has that. You can actually adjust it that way, which is cool to have. Now, the one I'm showing you right here, since it's the air fryer and all that, it doesn't have that. You have to manually go in, find the weight of the food or the settings, and use it that way so it will take a little bit of learning for this device and that is the one thing i will express enough to you guys make sure this is the product you really want because you will have to learn it and then if you have kids you really have to be careful because you know it's got it's more than just a microwave it's an air fryer and all that so if they put the wrong thing in there hit the wrong setting you know you have that heating element let's say they throw a bag of popcorn on there they throw that broiler in there, or turn the broiler or bake on, 
it's going to overheat that paper and then what happens right so you have all those things to keep out but it's just a really cool technology to have it all in one you know let's say you live in a motor home and you don't have the space for like a toaster oven uh, uh you know uh, an air fryer a microwave this gives you the option all in one so i mean i see it's I see its places and I it works well. It's a nice product. It's easy to you know easy to use once you start learning it. I did sit down and read the book a little, guys. Um, but it's a nice product. Now, I'm really excited to get my hands on their other one that's coming. Uh, it's it's a, a lot different version. Um, let's see if I can actually let's pop over screens. Let's see if I can pull up the other one. Uh, the one that's supposed to be coming and I'm actually quite intrigued about it because the other one that's coming actually does a whole bunch of other stuff it's just it's a microwave but it's a smart microwave so what do I mean by that it has uh, it has in it it has like the you know uh, the connectabilities to connect up to your phones it has connectabilities for like everything else it even has uh, smart sensor reheat can detect the amount of moisture in it so it doesn't overheat heat or over reheat it and dry it out it's also 1100 uh, watt mode it has a mute function has echo mode a uh, 1.3 cubic uh, feet uh, size it's got the 12 and a half inch turntable built into it uh, with the Alexa built in also in the phone app the phone app is voice controlled it's got the humidity sensor you literally can uh, say, you know, def you know, say its, its name and say defrost for 30 seconds and it'll do that or defrost one ounce of meat and it'll auto detect that also. So guys, I will actually grab this link so you guys can see this one also if maybe that's the one you want. But that's the other one that's coming and I will be doing. So I'm quite intrigued to actually get the other one and get hands on with that one. That's the one. So that that one I just posted that link to, guys, is actually the one I will be swapping my microwave out for once it comes. I will be going over to the smart world. I can't wait to get it. Now, a couple other things with these microwaves and air fryers, guys. Always make sure that you have at least three inches on every side all the way around for venting or ventilation. Uh, you need that spacing on purpose so you don't overheat the product, don't block the vents, and, you know, it's just one of them things. What do we got next up? Oh, next up, I believe, is a product I did. This is the Taurus phone mount. Guys, this phone mount is not like any other that I've actually ever done. This one is quite cool to have a mount that fits in your vent that is actually very sturdy and actually sits far enough away from the vent that allows the heat or AC to get out of. Uh, it does come with a couple extra brackets, and we'll show you guys the video for this. Today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This um, is from Taurus. This is their new uh, car phone. One sec, guys. I don't normally do this, cool but... What this is, is this actually has adapter pieces for round or square uh air vents so if you have a rounder style air vent it does have a separate clip to show you guys how to hook that up which is quite cool so inside this you get the clip guys it is a one button release and it is very cool now i'm gonna pop this open give you guys some stuff but they do have a quick read guys. sorry show about that guys, guys. That i don't normally answer those on screen how to connect it with your side style vents or longer vents or even round vents i like that they have that so that's the part I'm talking about, guys. So it does come with the actual brackets to mount it uh, for, let's say, a round vent. Like uh, you have a Mercedes or I believe certain Volkswagens have it. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. So it does have those. So it does have separate clips for that. And it also has a clip for this one. And I left out a clip on purpose. And that's because I didn't want the clip to interfere with my face and my stereo because of the, the, the placement of my vents to my stereo. So the clip would have uh, almost interfered slightly a little too much. So I did not add that. But you'll see in this, and with all the stuff, it's cool. It has all separate style uh -oh. of ventings and how to connect them up and clip it. This is very cool to have that additional piece. Then inside you get the actual mounted. I didn't need that right news. Here, guys. 
Of course, it does have like a we'll deal with that rubber later though. Pattern. Then you have this nice rubber padding for the bottom of your phone, which does. I'm telling you guys, when it extent. rains, it pours. So if you have a taller <laughs> phone, it will come down. It does leave enough gap to put your plug-in in there also. Now, one button release. So on the back, you have your button right here. You if you press this button, it slides that out. You set this in. You close it. Your phone is mounted. Now this is also your swivel point, uh, swivel ball joint. You will actually unscrew this to connect in the ball point. That was my mother. So uh, it looks like she's effect. sick. Then we have the rest of the pieces. Now I'm taking this out as we do this live because I want to kind of show you guys everything that comes in here. So you have your standard mount, guys. This is kind of cool. So you have your this standard is cool, mount guys. With so crank. Check this out. This thing is where it's really cool. It has a crank, and when you start cranking it, this little metal hook on the back starts popping out. And when it does that, the bar itself starts getting shorter. And as it gets shorter, it clips onto your vent tighter. Now, most vents have a dual-way uh, dual ventilation system. So the front will swivel up and down, and then behind it will have another swivel side to side. So you can actually get it, if you have your vents are, are close enough together, it can actually go into the inner side and clip onto the back piece or to the front piece. So it's really cool that it can do this. Uh, piece, this little uh, piece is swivelable, so you can set it to the position. Yeah, I'm not one. sure, DH. Uh, screw this and it locks it in place. What's but really going on? She just said she's home extremely cool. sick, so if we undo this, I'll call her after stream. This is your, your mount for the vent. This is the hook piece. So she doesn't normally text me in the morning. You know, just close it, slide this in, then open it so the hook comes out. Then once it's in there, it should be locked in place and should not move. And then once it's in there, you start tightening it until it closes. That is cool. And if you guys see this, it actually shrinks the size. That. Really, uh, really cool. Tighten it more and more to make it nice and tight. We're going to go all the way out until it is completely open. Now we have a couple more pieces. And this now is these the are these that clips that I'm guys. talking about, guys. So Watch this. See that? Different styles. So this is the one for like your round style of your round style vents. Now you'll see the extra little Ys that go out there. That will sit back on the very front side where the actual bar will go in. And that will help compress to make it more sturdy. Because the round vents, like I believe Justin's Mercedes has the round vent. And when you clip onto it, the, they want to move in properly. So you can't clip on them pro, uh, right. So they actually thought about that. Added these extra little uh, secondary clip mount pieces that will actually go in there and stabilize it so it don't flop around. And I love that they did that. For rounder mount. Hey, I appreciate everybody. Dash pad. This is what that's for. This will go around the round one. And then they have another one also. Just like this, guys. Different style of vent mount. To hold that's probably what like I should have used, but I didn't use it. They have these. Now, didn't need if to. you guys need, they do also have another set of instructions right here. And this will walk you through every vent, every piece that you want to use to connect it up. Shows you how to do it, how to adapt it. And all that cool stuff there. Now, I think that's very, very awesome to have that amount of adaptability because not everybody's vents are the same. Now, as you guys see, we're going to go in this. My vents are kind of long. So once we're in there, guys, we're going to start. We're going to start. Hopefully, we're going to try and open that like that. So once we're in there, we're going to start doing this. My yeah, kids my off to get lunch before they work. A little, but that's because it's just my vent. Now, as you guys see, it's in there nice and snug. And this is where we will adapt the ball point, swivel point. So this swivel is point another cool part. Set. You guys like see this ball pivot point? Like that. So that's where that ball pivot point up there will allow you to move it in any direction around your dash in a 360 degree uh motion to where you want it placed properly in your phone angle 
Dude, I'm telling you guys, this mount is one of the mounts that I actually, you unscrew this, you know, I thought it's really cool that they put a lot of thought in this. Of the mount itself, you'll put that over there, guys. Then you'll actually grab this, pop it on. And if you guys see, just popped on. Then you grab this. I know. I normally don't show phone mount I mean, videos all the way through, but I'm showing this one on purpose. Tight. <laughs> Guys, look how much space it gives you between the phone and your mount. That helps so you don't overheat your phone. It really does, guys. If you've ever put your phone on one of them phone mounts over your air vents, heating your phone up is not really great. This gives you, it doesn't, you know, it'll still get hot, but it shouldn't put all of the heat just straight onto the phone right away. So it will allow it to go into the car. It also helps so your air vent actually has a lot of airspace now phones of course i got a phone my s21 we're gonna slide the phone in there guys just like that open it up clip it in place now as you guys see my vent is a little loose that can be fixed so the cool part about this is guys so if you redo what i just did we will actually loosen this up right uh-huh Swap the position of the what it we was connected can actually to. Change the positioning of this, so we can go back even farther and lock it onto the back one. Let's do this. Yeah, they do. They, they do. They really do. So this is what I like, man. You have the position now, ability to connect it to different place. sections or different areas in the vents. Now, that's what I'm changing is actually which part of the vent it's connected so to. And it locks it in tighter. To readjust stuff. And then you tighten it up, right? Now, look at that. It is stable. Put your phone back on. Clip it in place, and you're good to go. So that is how this works. Guys, that's it. And if it's still slightly loose, use those little brackets, extra little uh, mount clips that they come with, those little round clips, to hold the front of your air vent, and it makes it even more stable. Guys, Tora's really thought about it with this one. I'm not even kidding. This is the phone mount to get if you want a really good phone mount. It, they thought of everything with this. I, I'm just blown away with how much adaptability this phone mount had. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's probably just ate something that didn't agree or, I don't know, uh, hoping. <laughs> uh, you know, one of them things. Now, guys, let's see what we got. Up. Oh, the Bezos LED desk lamp. Now, guys, this is actually a cool little desk lamp. I know you guys have seen it a few times. Let's grab this. I'm just going to show it right here, guys. This is actually a rechargeable desk lamp or table lamp. Uh, it has three different colorations of lighting coloration and a stepless lighting. So you can go into different colorations. I believe it's like, uh, what is it? 400K. Let me, let, let me get this right. Three colorations. So you do have the colorations of, I believe, dude, where is it? If I remember right. I don't remember right today. Now this is the way. All right. So you have 3,000K, 4,500K, and 6,000K coloration. So you have like an orange hue, uh, lighting for inside lighting, or daylight lighting. Then you have anywhere from 5% lighting lit to 100% lit. Now it does have a built-in button, guys, that will auto-detect the room's lighting and will adjust the lamp to what it thinks it should be set at so you don't overuse uh, the battery. Now, with the 5,000 milliamp battery, it will last a good amount of time before you need to recharge it. Or you can just plug it in with the USB-C and leave it plugged in and don't worry about the battery charging whatsoever. Now, a couple other cool things is, is since it's all touch sensitive, uh, you don't have to keep pressing buttons. You just touch, tap it, and it goes. You don't need to, you know, fiddle with stuff. It also is adjustable in a different angling, so you can angle it in other ways. Now, it's a long strip style, but it is very, very small. If you guys look at that, it does not take up a lot of footprint, and it actually looks very, very elegant. Now, I'm going to pop forward. Let's go over here. 
Now, I believe we plugged it in. And you guys can see me dimming it just by touching it. Just like that. Now, if you tap it quick, then it changes the coloration. Uh, but if you hold it down, then it dims and brightens back up. Tap it again, change the coloration, or go off. And on the very bottom is where you'll have the sensor button to turn it on that will auto detect your lighting. Guys, this is actually a really, really great lamp and actually a very good price at like $31. Uh, I love this Bezos lamp. This is the one of the ones that actually quite intrigued me. Now I have another one that's really, really cool too that I don't know if you guys have ever seen, but I will actually show you guys that lamp in person. I'm gonna let this next product play, guys. This is from Vaunt. This is their smart light bulbs. I believe Nate did this video. While this one's playing, I'm gonna go wrap this other lamp that you guys should really see. Let's see, where is this little lighting? And I will be right back. Hey, what is going on, guys? guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we are gonna be taking a look at this Vaunt light bulb. Now, this light bulb here isn't just a regular light bulb, this is a smart home light bulb now this package does come with two of these bulbs but to test this out for you guys today we're only going to need the one this thing is super easy to get set up so let's go ahead and jump in and just show you guys everything you need to do so all you have to do is just simply plug this into an existing light source as you guys can see here i'm using a lamp i had a little bit of trouble putting that in for some reason then once you're done with that go ahead and turn on the light and as you can see here when it first comes on it's just a normal warm light we are able to change that by pairing this with the application that you can download on the google play store or your app store when you do that it's going to walk okay maybe setup. i'm not Super showing you guys do then once you do that, all you have to do is just pull up the app and you're going to have a ton of built-in features such as all of these preset colors. Now it does seem a little bit dim in the video. It is definitely not as dim in person. It's just because I have overhead lights on that are kind of dimming that. So if we go through these, you can see here you have a ton of built-in colors right here such as red, purple, green, blue, white. And you also have scenes that will automatically change the lights and there's quite a few built-in scenes right here as you can see here there's 13 different built-in scenes that just add nice ambient lighting and then you also are going to have a music feature that when music is playing through your device the lights will react to that so these smart home light bulbs definitely come in at a great price and they also have a ton of built-in features so if you've been oh, looking yeah. for a new set of smart home bulbs definitely check these ones out from Vaughn and I'll see you on the next video guys Vaughn makes a great product now I was going to show you guys another desk lamp I had and that's because the desk lamp actually has the the top of the light actually disconnects from it and becomes a handheld light or flashlight. Uh, it was rechargeable. I don't know what my kid did with it. Uh, it was in her bedroom not even two weeks ago, so I'm not sure where she put it. But it was a really cool desk lamp that I really wanted to show you guys. Um, what do we got next? We got the Deer RC. But before we go there, we're going to mention our giveaways for today. Uh to anybody that's new that's just popped in today we are doing a giveaway for a mystery box uh you do have to be here to claim it so you know that's one of those things it will be a mystery box of my picking from my closet of uh, mystery stuff i have a lot of stuff and i'm not even kidding but a couple of the items are actually going to be really really cool one item i do have truly picked out i believe people are going to really love that item uh nonetheless but I'm going to fill that box. That box is going to be full. Now we have another giveaway going up on, and that's from iMazing, and that is for their jump starter or jump pack for the car. And then we also have a giveaway going on for a Gigabyte G5 gaming laptop or $800 gift card of your choice. So make sure to enter those guys as you can. Now coming up here, we have the Deer RC guys. This is actually a nice little RC that car that we're showing you. So we're going to show, oh, it's actually a boat. My bad. <laughs> Let's grab the little boat. So here is my H120 oh, it's Nikita. racing boat. I'm super excited. Um, I'm going hey, to I like those little emotes, Wiley. Those are cool. Our condo complex, um, is that so like flaming chicken hands? With it. And I'm really excited about it because uh, I watched the video for it um, on the product those page. Cool. And it absolutely looked amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you everything that it comes with. Then get it charged and take it outside to my pool and basically show you guys what it looks like um, while it's going. So here's the product manual that comes with it. Um, it's taped styrofoam together. So go ahead and take that off and then go ahead and see it. And this is everything that it comes with. So as you can see, 
um, the boat itself. Um, I want to say it's about like basically a foot, maybe just a little bit shy of a foot. Um, here are all the batteries for it. it yeah, it's really, two, it's cool um, actually. So you, you can charge them and, you know, take the two with you. Um, wherever you take it so if one dies you don't have to just immediately plug it into a charger you can just go <laughs> ahead and um, swap the batteries here's the controller for it um, here's the 2.4 G band some buttons I'm pretty sure the um, the uh, some things were happening guys things, things were happening them, as you can see um, it has these nice little styrofoam things to protect the knobs and then of course the boat Let's itself um, has like a little rudder in the propellers and stuff it doesn't weigh that much actually it's very um kind of lightweight um it has like about a pound and a half maybe two on it and then um here's some other stuff nope, didn't happen with it um it looks like there's like a usb adapter um some plugs and stuff um maybe a stand um but i'm gonna go look through the manual uh let you guys know about all the features and stuff and then basically show you it running in a pool so stay tuned Good day, guys thanks for watching so i've got it all set up it's really easy you just kind of unflip some uh switches at the top of it um and then you slide the battery in it has a lock in place for the battery make sure it is fully charged because if you don't have it fully charged when you um put it in there um it will just stop on you um but you can only pair it when you put it in the water it won't pair outside of the water and the instructions are really clear and easy to follow um <laughs> as you can see i'm, I'm having a me lot and of justin have been talking about really getting me one of the bigger like faster have, ones of one of these for the lake near my house pool um and you know it has no problems reaching on the ends of the pool um you know i don't have to move with it um so the range of the uh, uh you did itself is pretty fast um but really? whether you want to use this on open water in a pool um it definitely it definitely Should've is fun. It to you guys. It's, it's very addicting to use uh one thing about it that i love is if it flips over for some reason because you're going too fast or you make too sharp a turn it's uh set up to where it, it automatically flips itself back over um, which is actually super amazing. You don't have to worry about it capsizing and not responding, especially if you're All using right, the I'll water. All right, I'll retry that, man. Um, but like I said, if you're looking yeah, for it really a, is. a remote control boat to use, that's going to give you, um, um, a, have a, you're basically going to have a good time using it, you know, fun on the open water in a pool. Definitely check out the H120. It's How about now? <laughs> I'm having a great time with it. All right, so... Guys, DRC makes some great products. Now, the next one up is actually a little, little RC car. It's nice to have it in control. Um, yeah, so I've got, you know, that's the cool thing. But I we were looking at the Traxxas ones that have a lot more range. Uh, they have a farther range, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, battery life, not too worried. Plus, where I'm at, I actually have a buddy that has a boat. So if I need to test it out, there's a boat to go and grab it. So I'm not really too worried about that also. Um, my buddy actually owns some lakefront property. So let's go and show you guys this rock crawler. Hello, everyone. I just got the deer. Oh, it's a new video. I've not seen crawler. this one. This thing is a beast. Uh, it's <laughs> it has a return. It's yeah, not good. a lot of those have a return uh, to, return to base uh, boat. <laughs> it's, been independently. it's got a metal shell on the outside. And this thing is made for any type of terrain can go off-road, can go on rocks, can go down the road just fine. It's pretty cool. It's even got some LEDs right here where when you turn it on, they light up. And uh, it comes with a battery that was already installed in the compartment. Yeah, I'm not too spare. worried about an electric boat uh, um, having a stall. For about now, minutes, if you have maybe one a gas-powered style or something like that, then you might want to worry about that. And then you need two AA batteries for the controller, but well, yeah, once it's on... And honestly, so if I well. lost it during testing, then that's what happened. But, oh, whoa. Take this thing outside and see what it can do. All right, we are outside, right. so let's see what this thing can do. So it's made for off-roading, so let's take it off and see. Ooh. It doesn't look Electric too graph, super fast right yet, but it's, it's dude. Curb. Very easy to control. Easy it's to jumping up. It's going over easy. stuff like no problem, though. It's not doing too bad. Nice.
So as you guys see, inside it would be a lot faster on a smooth surface. Outside, it's not that fast, but it's definitely crawling over stuff with no problems. Uh, that is the Deer RC DE45 Rock Crawler. So it's meant for crawling at slower speeds. Oh, next up we got a SEMA RC helicopter, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen the helicopter. I believe this might be a Nikita video. Let's find out. It hey is. Guys, I got another amazing SEMA product for you here today. I absolutely love everything SEMA. They make some wonderful remote control. I gave gyms away. Stuff, regardless of what you want. Yes, uh, I Whether did. it's a hovercraft, a boat, or a helicopter. Um, you know, they've got you covered. This is the S39. Did I miss anybody else? Helicopter. So I'm super excited about that. I, I missed somebody over there. Opening right now so I can show you everything that's in it. <laughs> Santa. Sometimes. I missed one person, though. Now I gotta go back over. I forgot. So pulling it out already, it comes in a styrofoam box that is sealed on both sides to make sure no parts get damaged. Oh no, I did give him that. Right, I'm cool. gonna go through and get this tape off. I have to worry about it. I love hey, how you doing, Simon? They go the little extra. Yeah, Simon's here. To make sure uh, that their product is who you missed. Uh, gets to you. Uh, probably you buy things. Were you over on Twitch? Fire, Yours is uh, zero zero. Right? You know they have your best interest at heart. Oh, so it's actually taped on four sides. Nope, not you're not over there. Two. You're not. It doesn't show you in there, though. Ah, I don't know what to say. There we go. Yeah. Right on. There you go. Let's see. There we go. It's just a little bit on there. Let's see if I can. I can there he is. Off. So you do have to take <laughs> off three sides. You can't just get away with just two. Mystery box. But then it just opens just. Yeah, like it box. wasn't showing you up, so you must have uh, just designed. showed you in sleep mode. Than must have. Be, the the uh, from the box. It's got a really nice switch algorithm and thing. The sort of <coughs> my Xbox style controller that it has for it. Um, it looks like it does require batteries. I, uh, and it doesn't look like this is going to be the battery. And say, did I give you points? Um, helicopter itself and a screwdriver to see here access it, but it doesn't like the remote control will come with batteries so you will need to pry uh, most of the time they require double a batteries but when i set everything up and get back to you i will let you know about that so i'm super excited for this test run so i've brought the helicopter outside first you do, have to do, make do, sure do, that do. you have the battery plugged in on the side so it's getting power and then you have to actually flip uh, the no the so the mystery box is my at live on so just grab the at live. Crashing. It's that first sure link. You set the helicopter down, so the enter live the back one. of it facing the pilot, and then you want to turn it on. I will be picking that at the end of the stream. To sync it up, you. I will be doing a mystery box today. And yes, yes. Down, and then the light. You're on quite field, welcome. You do that should stop blinking. So I use the same link for mine. Down, and to start it, you just lift on the elevation side, which is the left side. That yeah, happens. It's all good. Basically, right there the left side is for elevation, up or down. I need a nap. Lower. The <laughs> right side is for direction. Oh, oh you got stuck, <laughs> man. Right in, the, right in the leaf. So I recovered the uh, helicopter. I probably should have given my girlfriend some time to practice with it before just <laughs> throwing her out to make this I have a lot of points. As I was saying, I don't always do that away, but, you know, why not? controls the... Uh, I was thinking about doing a giveaway for like 10,000. This is what turns it. <laughs> this rotates it clockwise. This rotates it counterclockwise. Maybe, maybe I'll do button, that next day or uh, so. This is what uses to go faster speeds or slower speeds. So if you want to just start the plane itself, all you have to do is... Yeah, I'm going to talk about on. this, guys. These RC uh, helicopters and planes that they have from SEMA, the blades can take a beating, guys. So don't worry about that. And they also give you extra blades. So if you actually break one or bend one out of position... They do give you extras to swap out. On this, and then it'll start spinning, and it'll prime, and it'll get to a certain speed. And if you don't do anything else, then it'll just simply cut off. So you know it's not just sitting there running. Cool. But we're going to give it a trial test number two just to kind of show you it flying around. I do suggest be careful because they can't slice you, you though. Pick up. <laughs> well... It worked for a little bit. 
She so bent like. So it's going to take a little bit to get used to, but it's super fun. It's actually super durable. You guys saw it crash those two times. They so are very durable, rock, guys. which is kind of unfortunate. But no damage was sustained, no scratches on it. So it is durable, though it's super light, and the frame is really strong for it. Um, it's probably better for a more advanced flyer than I am. Yeah, that anomalous bug is like. Out. Just remember that uh, though the helicopter itself is rechargeable, this does take four AA batteries, so you're going to make sure you have to have those on hand. But if you're looking for a nice RC helicopter, definitely check out this SEMA model. <laughs> Phil, this yeah, the SEMA S30. Guys, if you need one, the SEMA S39 RC helicopter is a great little beginner helicopter for you. Um, what do we got next? Um, of course, guys, we are doing the mystery box giveaway at the end of the stream coming up. So, and that is coming out of my closet of gifts. Uh, we have the other two giveaways going on that you guys probably already know about. So next up is the Donner 39-inch LP oh, little uh, guitar. I'm not sure who did this one. Maybe this was the Michael Clark video. Oh, it is. It's the Michael. Hi, my name is Michael Clark. I play in a band called Much Obliged, and I also stream under the the moniker Valhallen3 on Twitch. And I'm here today to review this Donner electric guitar. It's uh, styled like a Stratocaster from Fender. It's not exactly on, on and girls. spot on with one, but you know, there's a lot of companies that do Stratocaster remakes, and this is a really nice one. I'm, I've been really happy with it. The, the color is really nice. It's a little hard to see with my lighting here, but it's like a I'm nice breaking the chocolate blend. out. As well as it comes with a How do you eat your here. Kit Kats? Like a monster? Right, like and um, there's so many things that surprise me about this guitar. It sounds great. It's very comfortable to play. It really does sound pretty good for the price range. <clears throat> $143. Really no it's crazy about this guitar. The, I would say the, the thing that I don't like the most is just the tuners, but it's not not even that big. Yeah, let's all meditate it's a very that easy sound. Fix. And this guitar even comes with a little push pull pot to switch your humbucker here to a single coil pickup, like on command. And it comes with all sorts of tools. I mean, it comes with a, a carrying case, it also comes with a bunch of Allen wrenches to be able to fix your bridge. <laughs> And you uh, those aren't the trees it's, I was uh, thinking of. Very, very good choice for a starter My guitar that's trying to get into an electric. <laughs> it also comes with a, nice uh, a quarter inch cable here that is. Very uh, John, nice I'll hook you up in a minute, buddy. When I load that back up in a minute. And uh, the electrical sounds. There's not much hum to it at all while you're playing it. It's a it's a great guitar. I've been really enjoying it a lot. So the cool thing is, like he said, guys, it does have the little pickup, so you can change it from a single to dual pickup. The sound is actually very, very nice. Uh, you know, and it, it's literally a nice price, cheap price. It's like one forty three ninety nine today for a beginner guitar. Now, for a beginner guitar, you guys heard it. It sounds very, very decent for a guitar. Uh, it's just one of them things. You know, it... Yeah, the push and pulls, the pickups, it's got the whammy bar if you need the whammy bar. I mean, really, it has it all. Uh, you know, it does come with carrying case, does come with the strap, all of that cool stuff at a decent, decent price. Uh, you're quite welcome, man. What's up next? Oh, the Wemax Vogue Pro. Now, I actually still have this projector, guys. This is a full 1080p projector that will support 8K, 4K uh, stuff, which is really, really cool. Uh, product name here once in a while. Uh, Donna guitar here. Yeah, uh, you know, that's pretty funny. 
I never thought about that one. Yeah, for, you know, an under $140 guitar, it's just a crazy, crazy price for a guitar. Actually, very nice. And, of course, if you could play like him, it makes it even better. You know, I'm not I'm not a musician. I cannot play guitar. <laughs> Wii Max, guys. You guys have heard us talk about Wii Max many of times. I love Wii Max. Wii Max makes a very great product. Now, these are all Android 9.0s that we have done. This one is a cube style, guys. Um, we'll actually go over to the product page real quick and show you guys this. So this is like a cube style projector, but it's full Android 9.0. It's 1600 ANSI. It is HDR10. It does have the Dolby Audio DTS uh, built in, which is actually quite loud. Um, you know, it's I believe this one's like 20 watts of power for the speakers compared to the, the other one, which is like 30 watts. Um, this is not, you know, this isn't like a laser up front laser style, so it does have to sit away. Now this can actually do quite large screens. It has auto uh, automatic intelligent screen alignment, so it automatically aligns itself and auto keystones itself. Now if I remember right, this is, uh, let's see. Does this tell me? Let's make sure. This can go anywhere from 40 inch up to 200 inch screen, but they do say anywhere from 60 to 120 is your prime positioning. Now it has the four point keystone correction, does do all of that cool stuff, but guys, I'm telling you, videos don't do this justice, but they are very, very bright, very cool. The Wii Max yeah, Wii guitar stars are so convincing. Smart projector guys. We're gonna yeah. power this it definitely on. sells that guitar. You guys are going to see it light up. As you guys see, we're lit up. It's we're getting hot on. in here and I'm starting we to sweat. We are in here. We can go into Launcher if we need to launch something, right? We have App TV. We have uh, Firefox. If you guys need Firefox, let's load it. You guys can see this. We just load Firefox. Pick what we want. We can go and do what we need. We can go back to home. Problem of fourth floor part. User manual. Focus. If you guys need to refocus this, it will automatically focus. You can automatically change it up. It will focus itself and adjust itself to the perfect part. Now we go back to the home page. We are done with the autofocus. Keystone correction. It can do a quick adjustment. If you want to do a quick adjustment yourself, you can. See, as you guys see, we can adjust it perfect and then click OK. And we're done. When the circle is figures above properly displayed in the aspect ratio, as you guys can see, you can adjust this if you really need. Breakfast of oh, champions or lunch of champions. That, start going and adjusting if you really need. But it looks good. So we're going to pop back to home screen. Feedback. If you need feedback, right? Cast projection, file manager, or settings. If you need settings, go to settings. You have network settings, system settings, energy settings, security, about image, sound, Bluetooth and peripheral. So you can actually Bluetooth into this device. File manager. If you guys have files, you can go in here and go into files, videos, images, or music. Cast, cast projection. You can project your phone onto this device. Bluetooth speaker or inputs. If we go to inputs, let's connect up to this one. Let's see. Let's see if we got input two. We do not have that one. So we'll go back out, input, and it says Nintendo Switch. Now That's Nintendo what I like. Switch is hooked up. Now guys, this has a speaker. It will auto detect the product that you have connected. Speaker. It's really, really so cool. So let's grab a game. Oh, it needs us to update the software. I so we'll do like a update. update. I'll be right back guys. Okay, now that we're back, Let's load up Zelda. Let's grab me. Let's try and play this. And you guys will hear the sound as we're playing. And I'll even adjust the volume up louder so you guys can hear a little more. As you guys can see, we're not perfectly at 120 inches on the 120 inch screen. But you can see it looks great. It's actually very bright, very adjustable. We're going to click continue. We're going to click start. Yeah, this was before I had a good screen. Because we're now hearing the sound from the actual <laughs> comp, the, the projector itself. It has Ooh. two speakers guys it has 10 watts of power which is actually i believe actually 10 more than 10 watts so we'll 
check this out. Be right back while it loads. Okay, now that we got it loaded up, you guys, as you can see, it is loaded. It's updated. We have the now, guys. On. These projectors this are just very, very well done, and they work great. Now, you can literally make these a gaming monitor as a projector. I'm telling you, there is no downfall with these Wii Maxes. <clears throat> and, of course, as you guys see, it's $779 today. It's normally $1,300. It is a great, great deal for a projector. I really, really recommend these. Now, what do we have up next? Oh, the Tribit earbuds. Let's just grab those. Let this play. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at these Trivet uh, Fly Buds. So these are the Fly Buds 3. I got them in the pink color. They do also come in a black as well. So first thing that I really like about these earbuds is the case. The case is nice and slick. It's also really flat. So it fits in my purse really nicely and it also fits in my pockets, which I've got lady pockets. So if something can fit in my Yeah guys, while it's playing, I'm going to step aside real fly. quick. Like. So firstly, let's go over how you charge your Fly, uh, uh, your fly Buds. So there is a little flap right down here, and if you're not like me and you don't have super long nails, it'll be easy to get into. I've got to kind of pick at it a little bit. There we go. So you see the USB end and that uh, Type-C right there. That is going to be where you charge it, that little Type-C. It comes with this nice, convenient little cable here. You just plug it right in, and then you plug the USB end either to a block in the wall or into your computer. Now, you're probably asking, what is this? second little USB here for. So that is actually because this is a super cool device. Not only is it a pair of headphones, it is also a charging block. And if you want to use the charging block, you just press this button right here and then you attach your item to that USB port and then it'll actually transfer the power from your um, headphones to the item that you're charging, which is really nice if you travel a lot and you're worried about your phone losing charge or Game anything sure. like that. This has got you covered. Oh, it's like a little mini battery pack that you can keep with you and it doubles as headphones so if you don't need a battery pack you don't have to worry about carrying anything extra around with you which is really nice so the other things that this button down here can do it does actually pair your device to the headphones themselves so you hold it down in order to pair it and then if you want to check the um, how much power you have you just press it once and it'll light up you can see those lights there to show you how much power is in your actual headphones so let's go ahead and touch on the next thing that I really like about these is how comfortable they are. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here for you so you can kind of see. Ta-da! They're super slick and they're entirely customizable. So these little nubs right here at the end, I've actually put these on because these best fit my ears. But I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. That way you can see. So these are entirely removable. Okay? So you remove them off entirely and then you can just pop them right back on. Super duper easy. But it comes with a whole entire plate full of different whole bunch sizes of ear tips. and all of them are kind of structured a little bit differently so you can find the right one that fits your ear correctly which is super duper nice because it makes them a lot more comfortable to wear especially if you're going to be wearing them for long periods of time so just like that just went ahead and slipped it in my ear as you can see it sits very snug so i actually use these to work out and i go for runs in them and not only are they waterproof which is really nice if you use your headphones to work out oh gosh i'm dropping or if you drop them not only are they really nice for working out they're also really nice as far as keeping sound out like the outside sound because they are going to hug your ear perfectly they're going to be more catered to your actual individual ear which is really nice if you are someone like me and you're using them for like a conference call and you're listening to something important and you've got a dog that likes to bark every time someone walks past your house <laughs> like I do. It's really nice to have that, that soundproofing option so that I can just focus on what I'm listening to. That being said, I have used these for running, podcasts, and for conference calls. I was most impressed with these for my conference call. Mostly because of that sound cancellation quality that they have, but also because they were so comfortable and easy to use during my conference call. So guys, if you need a earbud, maybe these are the ones for you. Next up, we guys have the Amventech wireless doorbell. Let me just play this a short little video. We have an Amventech doorbell kit. Let's go ahead and get this open up, see what we got going on inside. Here is our obvious doorbell. And the great thing is this is going to be so that you just plug into any outlet in your house. So you're not bound to any kind of a location. Here is the actual doorbell functionality on it. Let's go ahead and let's do the satisfying pull right now. That wasn't satisfying. 
right. I feel unsatisfied and with that pull. So, remove battery insulating film before use. So there's a little pull tab right here. We have a double stick here. ream adhesive. So this will allow you to install it literally anywhere you want. And of course we have our instruction manual. Well, let me go ahead and get this. Uh, yeah, actually, no time let's, zoom. Yeah. Let's do this right here. Plus you didn't hear it, so it just wasn't satisfying. I don't know. Right, I found a spare outlet. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, yeah, guys, we're not going to play this whole thing because here. I do know what's coming up, and I know you guys all have seen this before. This plugged in. I feel sorry for you. We're going to remove. It's going to get loud. Tab. Oh, the goat! The goat sound. All right, and the volume up button. I'm going to hold that for a few button. seconds. It's in pairing mode now. Nice little chime. And there are 52 melodies available here. The rooster. Okay, we're going to have to come. So, guys, maybe you guys need a doorbell and you just don't have the place to put a wired one in. This will give you that option. Actually, nice little product. And at like $20. Hey, Meat Face. Yeah, I did warn you, and that's why I did not keep playing it on purpose. The GOAT, guys, does go on, and it does get louder and louder, of course. Now, next up, guys, is from Govi. This is their TV LED back right now. We do have a little video of this, but we're just going to talk about this, guys. This is kind of cool. It's an LED strip that straps to the back of your, light, or your TV, and it has the controllers to set up with. To give you a little ambiance, guys, this is like any go anywhere good for 48 to 55 inch TVs and 65 to 75 inch TVs. Uh, it has the Govi app. You guys can connect the app up with it and let it work that way also. Now, we do have a little video, I believe, right here. And we'll just kind of show you what's hey, what professional. You guys can see every you single guys see little the color lighting, guys. The lighting Govi works DreamView G1 light absolutely reflects it in real time, and it just looks so good. Now, so not there's a couple little difference, guys. This one has a camera. The one we're showing you is a little different. I don't believe... Let's go back and make sure. Because I don't think this is actually the Dream 1. Let me make sure. No, this one doesn't have the camera. So this one that we're showing you on sale doesn't have the camera. So you do the effects with yourself. You can set it up to music mode, roll flash. As in where the Govi Dream 1 will actually have a camera. Or the one I had has a camera to detect what the picture is looking and show you with it. Buys, but Govi, Govi makes just such a great RGB LED lighting kit. It's just crazy. You know, if you want some ambiance, definitely do it. Now, on that note, we'll talk about that. Govi, guys, I have a new Govi kit right here that I have to get to at some point. Uh, this one has camera. This one has all the lighting. This has two stars set up. And this is for your monitors. Uh, at some point, I will be getting to this uh, within the next week for sure. The Hue Box, they do. Oh, no, 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 no. Gobi has a lot of products. And a lot of them have, like, they have, like, the camera setups. They have so many cool things. The one with the HDMI. I'm not, I don't think I've seen that one. Maybe we'll have to get Justin to get that. The Hue Box. Justin, if you're watching, get the Hue Box. <laughs> Guys, Gobi just, they really do. They make a great product. I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing. Nope. Uh, we're going to be giving that away in a few. Popping back over. <coughs> Why? <coughs> Choke on myself. Let's go here. Guys, this next product up is just in a smoking, smoking deal. This is the EVGA RTX 3080 Ti. This is like $430 off today. Uh, if you don't know, uh, graphics cards is the way to go. If you're a gamer, or if you're a streamer, or if you're an editor. Guys, this is the 3080 Ti uh, XCS Ultra. This is a 12 gigabyte card. This has all of the good fixings of a very, very good masterpiece of a PC. Uh, I do believe, guys, that it it's similar to the camera, but it uses... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I would love to see that. That's kind of cool. I did not know they even made that. Uh, thank you for posting that. That is the link, and I will be doing that very shortly. 
Guys, this is a triple fan with the back plate. Now, a uh, few things. This has three display ports and one HDMI port. It will take up two slots of your case. Make sure your case is big enough. Make sure you have a power supply that will actually support this bad boy. Um, guys, they suggest 750. I'm telling you, go bigger than that. Go big or go home. Do not let this thing struggle. Uh, 850 is okay, will work. I'm telling you, go to 1,000 or above. Let this boy eat, uh, overclock it if you really want, and you'll see what it can do. Uh, 3080, guys, I'm telling you, the 3080 Ti is a great, great card. And at $430 off, you know, it's like $899 right now. The prices are just dropping, dropping, dropping. Uh, the 40 series is on the horizon, and that's kind of why... Let's talk about this. Let, let, let's let's dig deep into this. All right. If you guys have been living under a rock, you have not seen what has been going on with the graphics cards for the last couple of years. There was a shortage that they claimed. I, I'm just saying it as it is. They claimed there was a shortage. Um, they started selling cards to miners uh, for you know for uh, Bitcoin mining and all of that. Uh, all of a sudden, oh, hey, we found this big stockpile of cards just laying around. Uh, let's flood the market. Now the prices are dropping. With that being said, the 40 series all of a sudden got announced. It's out there. It's coming. You know, it's one of them things. Uh, miners, yes, for Bitcoin mining, man. Bitcoin mining. Miners. Wrong type of miner, buddy. Different miner. Bitcoin. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, now all these cards are dropping in price. It is the time to get them um, because I see in the future with the 40 series, you're going to have a problem with that <coughs> coming also. Allergies are getting to me, guys. So just saying it, this is a good deal. It really is. Now, I have a 3070 Ti overclock uh, in my, my PC. I would love a 3090 uh, in the future, a 3090 Ti, you know, whatever. So they're saying that the 4070 will pretty much be your 3080, 3090. If it's true, you know, that's one of the things. But, guys, EVGA is a great card, will work. They have a good uh, warranty system if you have problems, so don't worry about that. The next one up, guys, is the RTX 3090. Now, the RTX 3090, I actually have a video for this one our buddy Iggy put in. But this one is like $850 off today. This is like $1,299 was like $2,200. Uh, it's just a crazy, crazy price. I thought they were selling graphics cards. The miners. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Bitcoin mining. And they were selling them to miner, Bitcoin miners. Uh, you know, it's been proven. They've showed it. Uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. It's just, it, this card is a beast of a card. We're going to go ahead and slide <laughs> this section right yeah, into no, the so slot. They had a stockpile. They were and just, we'll you know. We'll just slide it in. And let me bring in. So well, you we'll let you guys think in. about it all you okay, want. So I, I, I don't know if it's true or not true. In. But if you look right at the market, what just happened in all the release and we just found a stockpile. Slot covers and the motherboard. And then we'll I just know it's a good time to be uh, getting graphics card cards in. right now. <laughs> okay. And, and this will tell you how big this card is, guys. Look at the size of this the thing. Retention mechanism just locking the card in place. And now we're going to go ahead and screw in the video card. You know, he has got all the good stuff. Now, if you guys don't know who Iggy is, I'll explain and that. And plug in the PCIe cables. Okay, so if you remember, I mentioned the clip is going to be on the bottom on NVIDIA cards. So we're just going to go ahead. Let, let's point this out. They built this card properly because the wires are off to one side. I have a Zotac and the wiring plug is right in the middle, blocks all of the lighting. Uh, I probably have a... <laughs> I don't know. I have a problem. I need to build a new PC.
Yeah, it, it's just it. What it is. And just easily push that in. You'll hear a little click. So guys, Iggy used to be part of the team. Iggy is a good guy. He knows a lot about PCs. He used to work with a whole bunch of different computer companies, including Alienware. Uh, he used to be in their build department and build PCs that they sold. Uh, he works for other electronics companies, other PC companies, and now he still works in the area of IT and all of that stuff. So he worked with us for a long time. He has got a lot of good tutorial videos. If you guys are in the market or need to know how to build a PC with a specific part or uh, you know anything like that, he's got the videos. We have a lot of them on our channel, but his new channel is just full in depth with that. Uh, you know, Iggy is just a great, great guy. I am. He saved my bacon quite a few times with uh, stuff I didn't know. Um, but guys, EVGA, great cards, the 3080, 3090, both on sale. Great, great deal. Yeah, I am overdue for a new build. I want to talk about this. The PC I have now is maybe two, three years old. I have a 9900K. I have, uh, you know, uh, HyperX RAM. I have all the stuff. The 3070 is new. The case itself that I'm using the Fantex Evolve is over five years old. I've uh, been to two PC builds in this case. It's time for a new build. I want to move to their new Fantex uh, X case. Uh, I also wanted to go to the new stuff and start building that at some point. But if you guys need a card, they're both on sale, both at a good deal. Uh, you know, one of them things. Now, I believe we have like two more products up. A general case tends to... I just love the case. I love the case, so I kept it. That's the only reason why I kept it. I just love the Fantex Evolve case. Uh, it's a very sturdy, very well-built case. The airflow in it for mine is phenomenal. Stuck in a 12-year-old. Hey, dude, I love a classic build. Don't get me wrong. I just like to build and rebuild and do videos for it. And with all the editing I do, I tend to like want to go to the newest stuff because with the new editing, you have to make sure your PCs can handle the higher style like videos. Like 4K takes a lot to process. And now uh, 8K video, it takes even more to process. So you do need to have, you know, all of that in there. So I like to build. Next up, we have... a. Uh, water cleaner for your pool and then we're going to be doing a mystery box giveaway in a second mini action cam underwater to record the i per pool cleaning video. robot as you can see the pool cleaning yeah, robot okay, so does an efficient job just bouncing back and forth this phone does 8k video that's dual motors suctioning up the debris and the dirt that it finds on the bottom of the pool now it may take oh, a while to do a large I, pool like this, the days. but it gets the job done and all that dirt and From debris those leaves the dry dirt dust pebbles that go on the bottom of your pool Big square it's flappy. a fantastic job picking it up you just set it and forget 20 about it play it does a game. job and then it finishes on its own it goes even to the edge of the pool when it's done so that you can hook it and pick it up and take it out of the pool easily without having to like dive in the pool and get I was it in the, the days of the dark but as you can see it does a fairly good job even with large sized debris occasionally if you have a stick or something in the pool that's a little too wide for the motors to pick up I mean, that thing moves it right along won't be able to suck it up providing the material is small enough to fit inside the pool vacuum it will do a good job picking up and you could see the debris and dust being kind of displaced as it make one it's megabyte it, and it's not quite close enough 128 to the megabyte inside the suction so it gets slightly <laughs> displaced but the pool vac eventually comes back to that later Again, if you want an easy way to clean your pool, something to just set and forget, and you don't want to spend a lot of time with one of those vacuums that goes in the Jeez. bottom of your pool. And My you're kids got pizza. Just saying this apron pool vacuum to work at the bottom of your pool can save you a lot of time. You love me. She bought me pizza, guys. All right, guys. We have one last product before we do our mystery box giveaway. This is actually a queen-size mattress from Luxury. This is like a 10-inch uh, green style. We're going to show you guys this little video. I believe this is actually Astrodia and her dad. This is the Hawksuri 10 inch hybrid mattress in queen size. It comes with a safe blade, a manual, and a mattress <laughs> in a box. Safe blade? After you unbox what? your mattress, position it on the bed, use the safe blade. blade. This is so you don't cut the actual fabric. 
with You're scissors good, don't worry. or something else. And oh, then okay. let it unfold <laughs> and release. You'll want to let it expand and inflate for about 72 hours for it to reach full expansion. It was a I lot will of stress fun. on that, guys. When you get a bag, a bed in a bag like this, or even like memory foam pillows and stuff, let them sit for at least 24 to 48, sometimes even more. They say 72 for this one. Let it sit. Let it air up. Let it get its memory back. You know, let it do its thing before you start sleeping on it all the time. It's just one of the things, it guys. Expand. We definitely had a fun time seeing this roll of mattress all of a sudden turn into a plushy, amazing mattress. This mattress was compatible with a flat surface, so it could be on a slated bed, box spring, or even on the floor. It combines comfortable, sturdy PUR US memory foam with durable, independent pocket coils. The individually wrapped coils move independently for more targeted support and reduce motion transfer, enhance airflow, to cough and work to relieve painful pressure points on the spine and body. This mattress was designed with a breathable knitted fabric cover, which helps it to dissipate body heat and allow for airflow. This makes the mattress stay cool and breathable. This mattress came in a box, very compact. And uh, I can believe it. I thought, you know, how can you have a mattress, <laughs> a full queen size mattress in such a small box? And when I tried to lift it, it was very heavy. Uh, I guess well, I'll like talk about that. To 80 pounds. Brought it upstairs and opened the box. That's when I realized it was uh, vacuum packed. And um, it, I money, I like bed. money. I just wish you didn't throw the money up. on my chocolate bar. It's it was the perfect size. And I gotta throw that piece away. And that piece of chocolate. What I really really liked was the the blade that it came with. It's like an envelope opener. It's a little weasel. Yeah, it wouldn't damage the fabric. If you use scissors, it'll probably damage the fabric as well. So when I opened it up, I could hear the air gushing in the plastic bag, and um, slowly and gradually it raised. And when it, you know, fully raised. Guys, honestly, if you need a bed in a bag, this is probably a good one for you. And this is like $254 today uh, to have a queen size. Now, they do make a king or a twin or even, I believe, a double. Let me make sure. Uh, twin, full, and queen. They actually don't have a king. Now, guys, the, the dimensions is 80, 80 inches long by 60 inches wide by 10 inches tall. Now... It's a great product. I really recommend these beds. Uh, I know a couple of people on the team have actually done a few of these, and they love them. So they work well. Now, on that note, Blake, yes, the last couple mystery boxes I gave away were very, very packed. Now, I believe Jennifer Ludd got the, the like, almost $900 worth of product. I, it was, like, eight or $900 worth of product that I packed into one. I believe, uh, was it Margaret that got one? I was at least six or seven hundred dollars and stuff. I pack them and I pack them full. Now, depending on how big of a box I can find or what my budget is for shipping, will determine how much I can pack into it. Uh, this time, I do uh, plan on packing it pretty good. So, if you guys are all entered, let me know and we'll get on the road with the giveaway. So, I'm gonna pop this over here, move that. I'm going to go over to the big screen, and I'm going to say, hi, guys. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I figured you guys were ready. All right. Thank you for the follow. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to make sure something real quick, guys. I have to check and double check. We have 23 entries, uh, 23 people have entered so far. Yeah, James is here, definitely. He's hungry again, though. I see a lot of people have entered already. Looks good. Uh, uh -huh, thousands of dollars in wins this year. Thing. Yeah, so yeah, I, I've done what, three, four this year? This will be, I think. So. Guys, uh, shit.
trying to grab. Yeah, let's post this one last time. Yeah, if you win, you definitely could just drive over. Oh, by the way, I do have that, uh, the OBS bot you can have. I know you need it, so you can have that. Hey, wait. Silencer, are you around, buddy? Oh. All right. Don't worry, I fixed your entries, buddy. For some reason, your entries were not proper. No, no, no. I did not pick a winner. Do not go there. Do not pick a winner. I'm, I'm checking entries. <laughs> All right, buddy, uh, for some reason, it, I, I fixed your entry. It said you weren't valid. I just fixed your entry, though. I'm fixing entries that I know if you're here, guys, is what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Some of them showed invalid, so that's all I was doing. <laughs> all right, now, guys, I'm about to draw. So give me one second. I can interact with this. Now we're getting ready to draw. <laughs> oh yeah don't do that He's a no all good buddy um it happens man all right we are drawing right now guys our winner is right no way hey uh siren congratulations <laughs> you are our winner yay <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It says, don't look behind you. <laughs> yeah, the thing behind me scares me. I'm your kid. Do you see the things he says? Yeah, you uh, you won. Yay. So, on top of, no, no, on top of that. So, now, I'm going to re-roll. On this next roll, I'm giving away a $5 gift card on top of that, guys. I just didn't tell everybody. <laughs> the gift card is out of me. Out of my own pocket. So I'm doing a gift card also. Siren, you did win. So now we're going to re-roll if you guys are all ready for a gift card. And anybody can get the gift card. You don't, you know. So let's do the gift card. Faustino. Yeah. Faustino, are you still here? Let's see. Faustino. Hello. <laughs> I don't see Faustino. Oh, no. I see. I don't see Faustino. Let's see, where's Faustino? <laughs> yeah, he's won a lot, has he? Give me the luck. Give me the there he is. All right, Faustino, I will technically be emailing you my uh, self for that. So that's not coming from Justin. It's coming from my email. So look for James at Dragon. So I will be emailing you with the gift card, buddy. Uh, Ryzen, I will also email you also. And you can tell me how you want to do that. So I can mail it or you can pick it up. Your choice. July 14th. Yeah, guys. So let's talk about this. We have some cool stuff going on. So, there is two more streams today. Nate will be streaming in about an hour and a half or, no, well, about two hours. I was going to say, I don't Nate know. Nate will be coming on in two hours with his stream. Then Nikita will be streaming later at night. Hey, don't be t saying the whole thing, buddy. That's it. You're deleted. <laughs> I'll be writing that out there. <laughs> Phil? <laughs> I don't need my stuff spam. <laughs> That's my work email. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't want to hear the notifications, please. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, Phil. <laughs> hi. Someone said hi to me. Uh, yes. If you guys don't know, this is my daughter. I am daughter. Uh, <laughs> we're not going there, guys. <laughs> That's pretty freaking funny. <laughs> uh, I gave my email. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, buddy. That was good. 
Anyways. I'll give that. So, like I said, two more streams today. I believe there are other giveaways going on. Um, probably gift cards and stuff. Uh, so make sure to check those out. Now, on that note, my my time slot is up. I will be bouncing off here. Uh, Faustino, I'll be emailing you in the next five or ten minutes. Siren, I'll be emailing you also uh, to see what you want to do with your uh, gift box or package that you won. Um, so on that note, um, probably in the next month, next few weeks, I may do another giveaway. Uh, <laughs> no, no. He didn't have the whole email. I'm just messing around, guys. But it was close enough that it was definitely close. <laughs> You can get through that email, though. <laughs> so, guys, I, I will be going. I'm, that's it. I'm out. I, I'm leaving this one just like this. It's over. <laughs> I almost got sideswiped by a hat. Did you all see that? <laughs> Ew. Um. So the question about that, uh, that I seen the earbuds question. Who was that? Hold on, guys. Before I go, let me answer that one. How long does it charge the case? So about an hour and a half to two hour charge time, unless you have a quick charger. To the person that asked that about that case. So. Does my daughter stream? No, uh, she does not stream with us. Uh, she used to video game stream certain days with me, but she does not stream. We tried to get her on here, but she's a slacker and has a job. I'm a hairdresser. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, she does. Uh, no, she's uh. So she's technically my stepdaughter. She doesn't look nothing like me, guys. No. I'm old and gray. Uh, uh the giveaways are in, uh over for now, but we do have the other two giveaways. Your hair looks great. Oh, thank Thanks, you. Man. He's not talking about me. Says James. Not yours, James. Nope, nope. Definitely says James. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> guys those are the other two giveaways if that's what you want to enter so make sure to enter those all right guys i'm out of here she has your face no she does not she's not my kid we're not blood related uh, she's my stepdaughter can't handle my face <laughs> uh. all right guys i'm out of here Bye. i'm gonna email some people uh, thanks for joining in, guys. Much appreciated. I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll get in contact with the two winners. Yeah, my wife definitely has her face. See you guys. <laughs>